Wasco Wildcat fans, this is Michael Allwhite, Julie Allwhite. We got a little pre-game presentation for you here before we go live on the radio and on our live stream for the game. Today we're having some inductees into the Wascom Wildcat Hall of Fame. Coach Keeling had, uh, when we put in the new field house, put in the Hall of Fame in the new field house, and we've been inducting members mm -hmm. each season. Well, I tell you, I hope it's a long haul, Michael, because there's a lot more inductees to come. I mean, we've got some great uh, athletes that we need to induct. I can't wait for the next few years, uh, including tonight we have Chan Amy and Mike Reason inducting tonight. They were MVP of offense and MVP of defense in the state championship in 20. 15. 15. Yeah, so the first uh, state championship, uh, Chan Amy and Mike Reasons, as Julie said, were the MVPs. And then. Oh, that um, was the second. Was that the second? Oh, yeah, the second one. Second. That's right. Because we were. State that's championship. right. That's right. Because the, um, the first one was Kevin and Junebug, Chan yeah. and Mike and the gang. And, um, but it was the second one, 2016. And so when you drive by the school and you come into the field, we have up our um, signs uh, for the state championship teams. And right here at the field, we have that run that we did, that they did. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get it. And it's 31-1, uh, and 15-1, and, and 16-0. And, oh. and, and those two years. Uh, yeah, 2014 was 15-1, 2015 was 16-0. and oh. And we were so close to being undefeated. I believe that the defeat was a close game, and I believe it was the preseason game. Mm -hmm. well, it was a bigger school, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I would call their name, but if I got it wrong, then I'd be wrong. Yep. But we could ask the super fan. He's right down there in the other box. But I believe uh, you're right. It was a bigger school, and it was a close game, and we had a few turnovers, or that would have been an um, uh, undefeated run there. But nevertheless, it's a great run. And being state champions uh, in um, the state of Texas is is pretty phenomenal feat. Um, you look around at the different states and how many games that you have to win to get to that point here mm -hmm. in 16 games. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot of football. That's, that's like the NFL. Yeah. And so we, we come on here. I believe it was scheduled at 630. Um, I see Coach Pearson. He's uh, been chatting with the refs, and he's – about to come across the field, so I think we're close to getting started. Yeah, we're getting close, and we that we were talking about our times here. Uh, we're, the kickoff's at seven, so we only have thirty-one minutes before kickoff. Mm -hmm. And now Coach Pearson, he's he's uh, doing something else. So I'm wondering if they they're switching it back to halftime. I don't know. So we'll. Uh, Stay here. We're going to keep the feed running, and then in a few minutes we're going to uh, go live on our radio broadcast, and we'll have uh, this game. This game is going to be a very, um, it's going to be a very good game. So if you haven't seen any of the Wildcat games this season, this is one you want to see because this is where the rubber starts meeting the road, folks. And the Wildcats and Harmony are both undefeated district. Harmony didn't have a bye yet, so they're four and zero. Mm -hmm. And Wildcats are three and zero. And Dangerfield is also three and zero. So there's a. Yeah. So we have to win tonight to battle for the district championship, which we play Dangerfield next week in Dangerfield. So that's how important this game is tonight. And uh, Harmony has been uh, doing well too, and everybody's anticipating what this matchup will bring. Uh, just as Wascom has had in the district. Um, played some of the teams that are not having as good a season as they normally do. So this is really to see what this district moving on into the playoffs is going to mean. And there's a lot of other interested parties in the other uh, um, regions interested in seeing uh, what this what these teams look like for the, the playoffs mm -hmm. run. Also special tonight, the Bells, the Wildcat Bells dance line, had a mini camp for the younger girls. Uh, elementary age i think maybe up to sixth grade and uh they're gonna dance with them tonight so stick stick around for halftime and you'll see those uh little girls take the field with the wildcat bells yeah that's gonna be fun to see i i was up here at the school this week and they were practicing 
And um, that's going to be a lot of activity out there, so yeah. it'll be fun for the girls and it'll be I, exciting for the fans to see I think see she them. said there's around 30. Uh, yeah, 30, 31, mm -hmm. not, counting their, not counting the bells themselves. Okay, here comes the Wildcats. And tonight, folks, they're, we'll get to this in jerseys with Julie later, but they got their new jerseys in, so they're wearing those tonight. And see if, if, if they go out to the field. Um we will let, we'll we'll go out to the mic to the field so we can hear that. So there goes the gentleman we're gonna and there's the team, so we're gonna go out uh to the field and see what Coach Pearson has to say. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Hall of Fame induction <coughs> ceremony. This evening we'll be inducting two young men who contribute to the success of the Wascom Athletics Program like none other with their hard work, dedication, and will to win. In their four years at Wascom, they won 52 of 57 football games along with a state semifinal appearance in the first two state championships in school history with records of 5-1 and one and 16-0 and oh, and being part of the lonely, longest winning streak in the state at the time in school history of 32 games in a row. The first of these two young men is number 15, Chan Amy. four-year starter who received all district honors all four years. <coughs> he received all state honors three of those years, and in 2014 state championships, he was named defensive player of the game. In the 2015 state championship, Chan was also named offensive player of the game. Our next inductee is number 21, Mike Reason. Mike was a four-year starter who received all district honors all four years. He received all state honors three of those years. In 2015 state championship, Mike was named defensive player of the game. Please stand and give these two young men a round of applause for their outstanding. If you're not able to make it out to the field, we just inducted Chan Amy, number 15, and Michael Reason, number 21. And now our current team's out there congratulating those gentlemen. And um, that, that's exciting, folks. It's, it's if you weren't a part of those runs there uh, during those two years, those guys were just dynamic players. I mean, Chan Amy lit people up all over the field. And Mike Reason – had some just incredible plays that were key to getting us to that final state game. Well, if you go back, there's a lot of key plays both of them had. Um, like you said, Chan Amy was a little more uh, flamboyant, but Mike was just as good. He was, he was uh, a great demeanor on and off the field. Mike Reasons is a gentleman uh, in, in all the sense of the word. Um, but both of those guys, they, they had a lot of help, uh, and, mm -hmm. and they will say that, you know, those teams – we, those we years could sit were here and years. name uh, just numerous yeah, but kids that were great on those teams, and I hope to see more and more of them inducted as we yeah. as we do this every year. Right, and, and we'll also say we, we saw some social media out there this week, and, um, you know, it's it, it, there's a lot of history that, that has to be un, unwound, and there's some people that know it, and, and I'm sure the school and the athletic director and Wascom is going to get to those players that deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. I think with Coach Pearson coming back and it being so fresh on his mind and him being part of that, you know, those gentlemen stuck out, obviously, for um, what you had mentioned, having the uh, MVP awards in those games. But um, everybody, and you mentioned, uh, you know, if you weren't, but 
you know, pretty much when those uh, years were going on, we saw people we hadn't seen in years, yes. you know, in Dallas. When we got there, you know, a lot of the games uh, preceding Dallas, mm -hmm. it was just a really uh, exciting time for the was. community. And it was fun. And so we're just thankful for all those that took part and the coaching staff, mm -hmm. the players, and the community. Um, and so when you come by and you see our field house and you see our turf – and, and 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 those things those are the things that kind of brought all that together and yes. and, uh, and and keeps on um giving back in the community and for the students yes big thank you to coach keeling and kubiak and all the coaches that were a part of that pearson along with them it was a great time yeah and we're, we're looking forward to maybe some more yeah and and we'll give a shout out to mr jimmy cox's stadium yes. his stadium um he's part of uh, the leadership that that brought that here That's and, right. and and, and he's no stranger. He started from, you know, uh, um, the, the beginnings through that. Mm -hmm. And so it was good for him to, to go through that on to where now he's retired. And, and so he can look back and just have a great uh, time to remember here working in Wascom. So, hey, folks, it's 23 minutes before kickoff. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Um, we're going to get dialed into the radio station. This Week will be on 103.9. Uh, Marshall's got to buy this week, so we'll be on uh, the main FM station. So KMHT. Gonna, the sports beat of East Texas. We'll be right back with your Wascom Wildcat football.
All White and Ju along with Julie All White, and welcome to the Wascom Wildcat football game at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, and we're they are hosting the Harmony Eagles tonight. Yes, it's a exciting time, exciting night at Wascom tonight. We've already had uh, the induction for to the Hall of Fame tonight. We've done that, and now we've got uh, a lot of little cheerleaders. Let me see if I can show them to you. Some of the youth league cheerleaders are here to cheer with the big girls tonight and also the bells are going to have some young girls dancing with them tonight some mini bells yeah so their theme is pink out as you probably mm -hmm. uh figured out and, and uh, we're doing that for breast cancer awareness and there's a ton of cheerleaders down there there's a lot of a lot. young ladies <clears throat> a lot of pink in the stands too tonight yeah so if you're um Catching us on 103.9 this week, KMHT, the Sports Speed of East Texas. You can all, also catch us on Team um, East, Te East, East Texas, Texas Today. Today. Com. Com. Yes, and then we have our live stream. Mm -hmm. which on is YouTube, Wascom Football Live. All of this is brought to you, thank you, to KMHT, the Sports Speed of East Texas. And so we're going to have um, a big game tonight for you Wildcat fans. We mentioned it earlier on one of our live streams. We had the induction ceremony to our Hall of Fame, as Julie mentioned. And so tonight's a big game between uh, two of the three undefeated teams in our district. Uh, Wascom is hosting the Harmony Eagles, which are 4-0 in district, mm -hmm. and we are 3-0. and 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 Dangerfield is undefeated. So tonight, uh, the winner of this will battle for the district championship. Um, and, and we're wanting it to be us, yeah. and so if Wascom was victorious tonight, that'll be next week because we go to Dangerfield next week. And so it's an exciting night, um, mm -hmm. and it's getting close to uh, the playoffs. So the Wascom Wildcats are wanting to uh, – uh, Secure a spot, but yeah. we'd like to have the first spot. Yeah, we want to be number one. And then tonight, that's important for the Wildcats because if we happen to lose tonight, we still have – a chance to be in the playoffs, but we wouldn't we would be, be one or two. We would be three third, or four, yeah. most likely third. But so the Wildcats, they don't want to go in the playoffs, uh, and we and we're with them on that. We'd have we like to go in the go playoffs in the one first. or two. Yeah, we yeah. want to be number one. Yeah, number one. And so then we have 11 minutes 40 seconds. Harmony Eagles are out on the field warming up, and it's, we played Sabine at Sabine, and um, I was wondering too if. Um, if Harmony had played Sabine, but I know Sabine's uh, one level up for it must be too, but I know yeah. those those teams are pretty close together. You have to look it up and yeah, see. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Um, Tonight we're going to have a pregame. That's going to be brought to you by Brown Rig Insurance Company. So our pregame tonight, uh, Matt had got out with a pick skin preview to interview Coach Pearson about where the Wildcats are currently um, and how they're doing, and about last week and this week. So we'll uh, have that preview right now. The Wascom Wildcats have an equally big matchup on their hands this evening. They face the Harmony Eagles, who sit atop the district standings at 4-0. and Wascom is tied with Dangerfield for second place at 3-0, and with both teams having already had their bye week. In fact, Wascom enjoyed its bye just last Friday. Wildcat head coach Greg Pearson caught up with us regarding how his team took advantage of the extra week. Well, we were able to get in a lot of the things that we were just trying to clean up to get ready as the season. You know, like I said, being a new staff, there's a lot of things that we've been working on, hoping to get prepared for district and things that we can control ourselves about ourselves as far as the protection on pass and just some plays and some pass plays to work on just to continue to let our offense evolve and grow. Uh, you know, offense takes a lot more time with execution than defense as far as just lining up and knowing who you got and what you're supposed to do and then go to the football. Coach Pearson gave us a preview of what his squad might be up against facing Harmony this evening. In fact, he and some of his coaching staff were able to scout the Eagles just a bit last week. Harmony has strong line play on both sides and solid skill players. Well, Harmony's got some really big kids. Uh, since we were off, uh, me and two of the other coaches went and scouted them and watched them live just to see, and we got to see them play the, a common opponent. who They follow us on the schedule, so they were playing Queen City, so we know exactly what Queen City had because we played them and what they have. And 
they do a good job. They're big kids. Uh, they play hard. Uh, they spread the ball around passing. They've got several kids that can catch. Uh, they had a good success in seven on seven this summer. They, uh, the quarterback, he can run and throw. Uh, got a couple of running backs that run hard and can catch the ball out of the backfield. Offensive line's pretty big. Defensive line is really aggressive up front. Do a good job. Uh, it'll be a. It, it should be a battle. It should be a war. Uh, they are four and zero. Uh, they played four games and four and zero in district, and we're three and zero. And I think uh, we'll be fighting with each other to try to find out who can make it to the next week. And uh, we have Dangerfield, which will be a big one, and we're looking forward to seeing if we can make it to four and zero ourselves and be playing Dangerfield. Pearson talked about the importance of having this big district matchup at home. The district has three teams who have certainly separated themselves in the standings, and two of those are the ones meeting in Waskin tonight, the Wildcats and the Eagles. Pearson even mentioned a couple special things in tonight's game that should increase the energy in the home stadium even more. Well, uh, I think that's huge for us. I, I love that we're having them at the home at Wildcat Stadium, and uh, we've got a chance to break out those new maroon jerseys that finally got shipped, and we're looking forward to that, hoping that'll increase the uh, excitement for the kids. We also have a couple of young men that I was blessed to coach with in my first time here that are being inducted into the uh, Wascom uh, Hall of Fame athletics. So uh, it should be a great night here and looking forward to a big crowd and the excitement. We're hoping that that'll just uh, add to it for our kids, the energy level. And uh, But, you know, if you can't get up, fired up and excited being 3-0, and looking to go 4-0. and I think something's wrong with you anyway. <laughs> Kickoff between Wascom and Harmony is set for 7 o'clock tonight from Wildcat Stadium. Well, there you have it, folks. A little preview there with Coach Greg Pearson, the Wascom Wildcat head coach and AD. And If you didn't catch that earlier, the induction was Chan Amy and Mike Reason uh, from the 2015 state championship team and 2014. Yeah, and so we had our pregame. Brought to you by Brown Rig Insurance Company. All right. Michael, the keys to the game, that's brought to us by Hal Norris Insurance Agency. Your key to the proper insurance is with Hal Norris Insurance Company in Wascom. What are those keys to the game, Michael? Well, the keys to the game this week is going to be very interesting to see if we can uh, control this spread offense of Harmony. Wascom Wildcats lost a close one in earlier in the season, a non-district game to Sabine that runs a similar offense. And it gave the Wildcats a little bit of trouble in the first half where the Wildcats came back on strong in the second. So the Wildcats got to get off to a strong start tonight. They got to be able to contain the quarterback of Harmony and not uh, get overtaken by this spread in their passing game. So those are the keys for the Wascom Wildcats to come out victorious today. And the keys to the game were brought to you by Hal Norris Insurance Agency in Wascom. See Julie and Hal for all your insurance needs. So right now, folks, we're six minutes away from kickoff on this district undefeated matchup. And the Wildcats have not come out of the field house yet. Their, their tunnel is waiting, awaiting them. Mm -hmm. But I believe their foe has come out. Mm -hmm. Harmony is on the field. They're on the field. They've already deflated their uh, tunnel, and they are ready to go. Referees are on the sideline waiting to do the coin toss, and the cheerleaders are on the field waiting on the boys. Yeah, and the cheerleaders, as they have support, the high school cheerleaders have support, um, and they stretch all the way across from the tunnel almost to this other side of the field where they're going to run on mm -hmm. uh, to their sideline. And so r right now, here come the Wildcats. You can probably catch them uh, coming out of the field house in um, Making their the way north to end the zone. Tunnel. Yeah. So here comes the Wildcats <laughs> uh, to the tunnel. We have um, the signs going up. Let's see. It says, beat, fight cancer, hashtag beat it. And there you go. Ha and uh, there we, we have pink out tonight mm -hmm. supporting that. Um, and the Wildcats uh, had a bye week last week. So that's another um, thing we hope that that doesn't uh, come into the game any. Uh, and it sounds like they're getting fired up out there. Here come your Wascom Wildcats. Here come the Wascom Wildcats. 
They're running in, they have their flags with them. And we got a brief second. So we'll go right into jerseys with Julie. Well, ton tonight the uh, Harmony Eagles are wearing white with red letters, and I believe they got red helmets. But your Wascom Wildcats are sporting their brand new jersey. They're wearing their gray pants, but with their brand new maroon jersey. They have white and gray stripes on the sleeves and white numbers. And they just got these in. This will be the, the premier football game for these new jerseys. Yeah, it's a good time to have them for this undefeated matchup. And we'll have a student uh, leading us, uh, honoring America with the national anthem. And that's Tori Wells. So we'll see if we can catch her. Um, So um, the Wildcats are on their sideline, lined up, sporting their pink socks for breast ca mm -hmm. cancer awareness. Some have their wristbands. And Harmony's lined up. So here we'll go out and honor America with the national anthem. Have the yeah. national anthem by Tori Wells. A great job. Beautiful song tonight. Now we're going to go to the coin toss. The coin toss tonight is brought to you by Signature Cleaning. No flipping of a coin to decide what you want to use Signature Cleaning for your commercial and residential cleaning needs. They don't just leave their name, they leave their signature. So the captains for Harmony, those numbers are hard. Can you see those numbers, Julie? Is that number 16? Number 16 is Boston Seahorn. Number 5. Number five, Joe Morris. And number 60. And number 60, Landon Wilkerson. And your Wildcat captains tonight are number 20, Tashawn Hamilton. Number 13, Trey Stevenson. Number one, Tyler Davis. And number three, Caden Edwards. So I believe the quarterback for Harmony is number 16, Boston Seahorn. He's a junior. And the Wildcats quarterback is number three, Caden Edwards, and he's a uh, senior. Did I say uh, Seahorn was a junior mm -hmm. or a senior? You said a junior. Yeah. So uh, we've heard, you know, we haven't been able to see Harmony play or no. any, any of that, but we heard that uh, their quarterback is very elusive and is very good out coming out of the backfield, but they also have a, a, a good passing game. So it would be interesting to see how the Wildcats handle – this tonight, and it's mm -hmm. a good precursor because Dangerfield. We went and watched them last week mm -hmm. uh, against the Legion Fields, and um, and they have a, a very good passing game. So the Wildcats won the toss, and they're going to uh, defer to the second half. And 
So Harmony is going to def choose to defend the north end zone. So they'll receive first. So there you have it, folks. We are just seconds away from the kickoff. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with an opening kickoff this week at Jimmy E. Cox Stadium with your Wascom Wildcats. Five Star Metal Builders, building for you. Your shop, garage, barn, equipment shed, metal roofs. Five Star builds any size you want. Five Star uses the highest quality material available. Five Star builds to your specifications. Call 903-407-7627 for appointment or drop by our location on Highway 80 in Wascom, Texas. Five Star Builders, Wascom, Texas. Five Star shines above the rest. Stop paying month to month. Visit with us at Brown Rig Insurance about paying your policy in full. Processing fees aren't cheap, and guess who pays for that? If you have the means, paying your policy in full can save you hundreds of dollars each year with most insurers. Call now at 903-938-8888 or go to mybrownrig.com on the web. Brown Rig Insurance, where you need to be. All right, back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium, Michael and Julie Allwhite, bringing you the Wascom Wildcat versus Harmony game. They're both undefeated in district. We're set to kick off. Anthony Zuniga is out there to kick to the Harmony Eagles. Back to receive for Harmony is number one, Evan Webler. And the other gentleman is 25, Dalton Click, I believe. And there's the kickoff. He's going, oh, and he picks it up at the 19. He's at the 25. He's at the 30. He breaks through. He's at the 40. He breaks a tackle, and he's getting down at the 49. So a good return for the Harmony Eagles. And the Wildcats' defense will come out. And that was number one, Evan Webler. He's a running back, offensive or outside linebacker. He returned the kickoff. Picked up uh, 44 yards on that return. Mm -hmm. So the Harmony Eagles will start first and 10 from their 49-yard line. Wildcats defense tonight. We have uh, T. Brightman at nose guard, Ridge Riley on the DN, and D Dante Minter. They're in the shotgun. He gets the snap. He hands off, and they're going to just run off tackle to the right side, and Harmony is going to be tackled at the Wildcat 49 by number 58, T. Brightman. The bone crusher, T. the bone crusher Brightman. Number 14, uh, Riley Patterson was the running back. They and did move the ball right, just right into Wildcat territory. Yeah, Will Young came out number four for Harmony. 16 is the quarterback, Boston Seahorn. He calls for uh, his motion. He looks right. He's looking to pass. He's got some time, and he gets it right over the middle for uh, number 17 on the reception, Braxton Baker. And there's where we were kind of concerned. We mm -hmm. see it right off. Um, that's going to be a 20-yard uh, pickup and a first down for the Harmony Eagles. First and down ball now on about the 29. Wildcats. Linebackers will come to those. Uh, Boston Seahorn in the shotgun. He gets the snap. He's going to sweep left, and he gets a block on the edge, and he's out there at the 20 mm -hmm. to the 15. That's another first down for Harmony. We're going to need the defense to come alive. Yeah, the uh, Harmony, they um, come out here just moving the ball at will mm -hmm. against the Wildcats. Wildcat defense is going to need to snap into action. So the ball's on the 15. We got 10 minutes, 44 seconds left to go in the first. No score. Boston Seahorn, the quarterback, is lone shotgun. Two receivers to the left. Now motion to the trip side. And he hands off sweep to number one. And he breaks a tackle. And he's going to pick up about eight. That's number one, Evan Weber. It's 10 minutes, 34 seconds now on the clock. They have no score, but Harmony is. First time they've had a second down. Yeah, and they are in the red zone. <laughs> there's that digital marker we were talking about earlier. Yeah, earlier we were looking <laughs> for that. There's the other there one sitting is. on the sideline. 
make sure it doesn't <laughs> walk off. Mm -hmm. So number 16, Boston Seahorn, quarterback's got a fullback to his right side, two receivers to the right. He gives it to the fullback, and he's going to go off tackle. And that time, uh, the Wildcats stop him just a pickup of one. That's Got to bring up third down. Leighton Lester, number seven on the tackle for the Wildcats. Think they're going to throw it in or try to throw it in? I see it's th uh, third down and four. four. I think they will pass it here. They're going to do a little They're on the read nine option. yard line. Guys on the Wildcat nine yard line, third and four. They got one receiver out wide. They're in the eye formation. He gets rushed and he's going to be sacked All right. at the 22. Yes, sir. By that Nate was Espy, number 22. That's our freshman. Yeah, well, 22. Nate, Nate Espy, Espy. tankity tank. Uh, it's one of the first times I've noticed the scoreboard there. Our new digital scoreboard was going off with the graphics. Said great hit. Uh, pretty cool looking there. And we needed that. That's a little spark that we needed because yeah. Harmony was moving the ball well. Then we got got them down here in the red zone, and Wildcats stepped it up. So it's fourth and 14, they're kicking. and they're going to try a field goal. Yeah, so they're here. There's The ball is going to be kicked from the 26-yard line. So that would be a 36-yard kick. Snaps down, the kick is up, and this kick can kick, but is it to the left? It's no. no good. Yeah, but he's got enough leg. Yeah. But – 36-yard field goal to 10 by number 12. So with Tucker nine Tidal. minutes, 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter, your score zero to zero, and, and Wascom will take over. Yeah, and that's Tucker Tittle, number 12, Tucker Tittle. So I, I want to get that correction on the kicker's name for Harmony. Mm -hmm. so Wildcats will take over. They're on 20-yard line. First and 10, Wascom. So here comes the Wascom offense. So that was – Look, I know down there um, at our clock area, we were discussing the game pregame. I know they were sweating mm -hmm. that first little look, but I think yeah. this is going to be a battle all night, folks. So uh, just uh, get your seatbelt on and, and, and relax. Under center, Caden Edwards gives it to the fullback, uh, to Sean Hamilton. And to Sean, it was hard. They were, they were in uh, a big bunch there, mm -hmm. but he ended up getting About seven, eight. About seven or eight? Yeah, yards. I believe he got eight right there for Deshaun Hamilton. Just a dive. So it'll bring up second and three for the Wildcats Kate. now on the 32-yard line. Yeah, so you're right on the seven. Caden Edwards giving uh, some instructions to his backs. He's under center motion left. And there's oh, a flag. Oh, is it us? Julie? It's probably yep. us. There's our they nemesis. They always going to call that. Yeah, we, we always get a little flinch. I say always. We have a problem with flinching mm -hmm. and moving there, and we get a lot of penalties. So mm. that's going to mess up. Uh, now, uh, second and three turned into second and eight. And so the Wildcats are in the huddle. Harmony's defense is already pre prepared at the line. They're breaking the huddle. Caden's coming out, mentioning something to his left slot. Under center, one receiver to the right. They motion right. And he just keeps it quarterback off tackle on the right side. Picked up a couple of yards on that. He's going to be tackled by a host of Harmony Eagles. Going to be third and five. Now, eight minutes, 16 seconds. Again, score still zero to zero. The Wildcats bring out their tight end, Harley Martin, and bring in their receiver, number nine, Anthony Zuniga. So now we have two receivers. They're both on the left side they're looking over at coach Pearson getting a play so we're over or we have two receivers one on each side and our so we have a slot on the left side he gives it to the fullback and he pulls it out and they went for the fake to the fullback mm -hmm. and that's a good run by Caden Edwards number three to the that's 40. gonna be a Dillard feed house first down for Caden Edwards on the quarterback keeper that was a good play by the uh, Wildcats. And so I'm going to go back. You know, the Wildcats run the flex bone, and I said they had a slot on the left. It was actually a slot receiver. So De Diego Smith was out wide in a slot uh, receiver position. Now they've changed in their formation, and we have receiver to the right, and we have two, our slot, two slot backs. Motion right, number 21, and Caden's throwing it, and it's up. He's got a receiver, and it's just – 
three oh, yards, just, two yards overthrown to Tyler Davis. Just a little out of his yeah. reach there. But it was a good-looking play. We had time, mm -hmm. folks. The, the offensive line did well. Mm -hmm. The route was good. The throw was just slightly overthrown. Mm -hmm. But we mentioned it earlier in the season. We were underthrowing, and, and that's um, – there we'd rather have an opportunity to catch than it, an opportunity mm -hmm. for them to intercept it. Seven minutes, 13 seconds left to play. Caden's under center, receiver right, we're motioning. Oh, and we get oh. him that time. I think we, we actually stayed still, Julie. So we got a free play, he throws it. It's two on one, and it's broken up oh. at the Harmony 35. I didn't even have him in my view there. Sorry, yeah. folks. Yeah, J Julia thought the play was dead, yeah. but this time we, it wasn't on us. I saw the flag and thought it was gone. Okay, so that we drew them off. Yeah, we drew them off sides. The intended receiver was Anthony Zuniga. Um, but he had double coverage there. Coverage was okay. um, mainly by number two for the Eagles. So that will bring up second and five ball now at the Wildcat 45-yard line. Brock Seven minutes, six seconds left to play. Brock Blackstone was the cornerback on the left side. Caden's under center, receiver right motion. And he, we're going to – ooh, oh, he oh, pitched oh, it and oh. fumbled. So we're trying to do that option, and yeah. I believe 14 broke it up for and Harmony. I, the uh, Harmony. Riley Patterson. Recovered the ball. So the ball now is in Harmony's hands again. First and 10, Harmony on walk at 45-yard line. Again, still 0-0, zero to zero, folks. Seven minutes, one second left to play in the first quarter. Braden Seahorn is in the shotgun. No backs, two receivers to the left, two to the right in tight. Motion right by the slot receiver. He gets the ball on a sweep, and he cuts up off tackle. He picks up six yards. Number one, Evan Weber. They're going to mark it only giving him four yards, so it's going to bring up second and six. Six minutes, 43 seconds left to play. No score. Wascombs had their first turnover. They stopped. Harmony on downs. Seahorns in the shotgun. Two receivers left. They're motioning the right one going left. Now he's going to keep it up the middle, and he's hit immediately mm -hmm. at the line of scrimmage by number 53, Abraham Terrazas. So mm -hmm. Abraham's the defensive end on the right side. Brings up third down. They got a trip bunch on the right, one receiver to the left, and he moves. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they were fixing a pause in the receiver on the left side. He wasn't. Um, yeah, he he went across the line, line there. So it'll be a penalty on Harmony. So that's both both teams having up. their trouble with penalties. Yeah. So that's gonna back them up and be about third and ten. So. Seahorn is. Getting the play from the sideline. They got a bunch trip set up on the right, or fullback on the right side, and a receiver out wide left. And he's looking right at this bunch, and he does a screen left to the back coming out of the backfield. And the Wildcats are there. He mm -hmm. picks up a little bit there, gets back. No, he picks a pretty good bit, but it's going to be short. It's going to be fourth down. Yeah, so. Fourth and three, let's what see. What do you think they'll do here? I, I think they're going to go for yeah, it. Yeah, because it's, it's out of their kickers. Uh, field goal range and they're definitely not going to punt at this mm -mm. this stage so, so fourth and three here we go folks seahorns in the shotgun two receivers still left one in tight they're motioning right with the receiver he's looking left and he gets blitz and he gets that screen out again oh and he got it but he yeah. got the ball he off. got the first down to he number got three. the first down um i thought Weston they were fixing Seahorn. to get him so that must be his brother number three or a cousin. Yeah, the defense was on him, and I thought he was fixing to get him, but he got the ball off, and it was enough for a first down. Five minutes and 13 seconds. No score here in the first quarter. Ball now on Wildcat 23-yard line. Seahorn in the shotgun. They still have that trip set on the right side in tight. They're motioning the slot from the right. They fake it, and they throw that screen again. Mm -hmm. So that screen is working, and they're going to just keep using it. Yep. Better coverage there by the Wildcats. That's Leighton Lester, number seven, for the tackle. That's going to bring up second down and six. Four minutes, 42 seconds now left to go in the first quarter again. Like we said, scoreless game. 
So they had the receiver out wide to the left. They got this trip bunch set in tight on the right. That's who's coming out on that screen. Fullback on the right side. Their fullback's motion and right on a wheel route. And there's a flag. Yeah, so they're stopping it, so I it's against Harmony. I think uh, they had too many in Moving. motion, do you yeah. think? Well, they're, so they got a lot of uh, activity going here, folks. The, the, the fullback, he's coming on a wheel route. He, um, and then, like Julie said, someone on the line must have flinched or moved. And that's going to set them back. That's good for the Wildcats. So we'll bring up second down and 11 now. Man, look out there. The whole sideline is full there with cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. so I'm waiting on them to mark the – they hadn't marked it all. What you talking about? Oh, the penalty? Yeah. So what are they doing? Oh, there they go. Okay. Second down and 11. Okay. Four minutes, 24 seconds left to go. Now they got two receivers to the left, one in the slot. One here on the right side. The back's going out from out back. Ooh, now, ooh, I thought it was picked off, Julie. Mm -hmm. Nate was trying to get a read on that, but he's covered by Diego Smith. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot better defense Yeah. on that. But we've seen it. That's the sixth time they'll run this uh, receiver across on a drag, and then they'll have that other receiver go out. It's third down, bring up third and six. Three minutes, 55 seconds left in the first quarter. And I, I was – just was right over Nate's hands. Yeah. So Seahorn's getting his offense set. He's got two receivers to the left, one here on the right, fullback on the right. They're motion in that slot receiver, and he's coming across on a drag. But they get that other Same guy going thing. across the left side. And they're in for a Harmony touchdown. Yeah, number 17 for Harmony. Braxton Baker in for the score, number 17, Braxton Baker. He's a big fella, too. 6'2", junior. Three minutes, 29 seconds. Uh, um, How many yards did you say he was at? Let's see. That's going to be about a 22-yard pass reception. They'll set up here to kick the extra point. Who's their kicker? I believe it's uh, the Tucker Tittle. Number 12. Snaps down. Kick is up. And this time... He's through the uprights. So Harmony strikes first, folks. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Want a beautiful smile? Here at Cartridge Dental Center, patients come in with a smile and leave with an even bigger one. Dr. Fowler and Dr. Vetter are our general dentists that specialize in dentures, cosmetic dentistry, replacement teeth, whitening, and even sedation for those fearful patients. We are open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. Our number is 903-693-8500. Go Wildcats. Dillard's Feed House, 210 West Travis, an exclusive Manor Pro dealer. Products for horses and poultry. Dillard's Lone Star, Mormons, along with the show right show feed for steers and swine, lambs and goats. All livestock to perform their very best. Dillard's Feed House says it's time now to prepare for your winter and spring gardening. Suggesting you get a soil test, planting guide, best results for the varieties you plant. Dillard will always have fresh plants in season. That's Dillard's Feed House, 210 West Travis, all your gardening needs. All right, back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium, Wascom, Texas. Your Wildcats are hosting the Harmony Eagles, which have just went up 7-0 to in this undefeated matchup. Yeah, we've got three minutes, 29 seconds left to play in the first. Harmony ready to kick off to Wascom. So in the back to receive the kick is um, Elijah Morris on the left. They're going to onside kick it. Oh, and we're picking it up on the bounce. Who is that? That's uh, number seven. Is that Layton? And the Wildcats the are in for Watson. Layton Lester. Layton Lester. He didn't, he didn't mess around, folks. He didn't even get to the 50. No. Layton said, don't do that. They watched it last night against the JV. We didn't see it. Mm -hmm. Layton Lester on a 47-yard touchdown return. And the Wildcats, just like that, strike back. Number seven, Layton. Man, that was awesome, folks. Like I said, the ball was an onside kick. Didn't get to but about the 47. Layton made a beat on it, picked it up, and he just took it all the way to the house. Six to seven now. Man, that was a, that was a, a neat play. I hope you you caught that on on. Yeah, we we'll have to go back and watching. look. It was so yeah, fast. Was we so want to go back and see it too. So quick, but 
perfect, just perfect job by Leighton Lester. So Anthony Zuniga, he's been doing a great job. He's here to see if we can tie it up. The snap is, ooh, that's close. Snaps down, kick is up. It's low, but it's successful. Yes, yeah, so that'll tie the ball game up tonight, folks. Wascom yeah. 7, Harmony Nine Eagle seconds, seven. folks. Nine seconds, and there you go, your Wildcats have tied the game up. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Hal Norris Insurance Agency, your hometown agent located in downtown Wascom. Norris Agency has a complete line of home, auto, health insurance programs. Let Hal custom design your insurance, especially your homeowners. Norris Insurance represents the largest mobile home insurer in the business. From liability to full coverage on home, auto, farm buildings, call Hal at 903-687-3175. Knowledgeable, available, friendly. That's Norris Insurance Agency for all your insurance. All right, back here live in Wasco, Michael and Julie, 103.9 KMHT tonight, the Sports Speed of East Texas, and we just we even even we were kind of a little bit kind of you know uh oh seven zero Harmony strikes mm -hmm. first, and that's so that's what's so good about high school football. Yeah, it can change on a dime. Yeah, and Leighton Luster number seven uh, picked up the onside kick. I'm sure that'll be in his huddle there. highlights. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. But, hey, we got a lot of time left, folks. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, this is probably going to uh, be a battle. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see if one team can pull away, but I think it's going to be uh, a four-quarters game. Seven to seven. Anthony Zuniga is set to kick. Harmony is set to receive. Kick is up. It's going to kick it to the left side here. It's going to hit at the 15 and roll to the 10. It's picked up at the 9. He's bringing oh. it back. He's at the – he jumps the guy at the – and he's going to land at around a 20. Tackle by number 15 for the Wildcats, which is one of our defensive backs, is Kelton Williams down there on good coverage. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Have they, they haven't been this deep in their own territory tonight. Well, you know, because they had a good Because they had a good return turn. Yeah, they were at one. 49. Yeah. Now, but it's only their – um, second kickoff, so they're here at the 20. Mm -hmm. So we'll see uh, if the Wildcats defense can handle this yeah. uh, passing game. Seahorn is in the shotgun. He's got two receivers on the right and the left, but he motions his one across, and they give it to him, and he's going to be stacked wow, up by yeah. Trey Stevenson, number 13. That's Trey, the milkman Stevenson. Yeah. Man, and th those linemen for Harmony, <laughs> they, are, they are some uh, – Big guys. I, I wish I had the stats, but I know I saw uh, it in Trey in the top ten in Texas. For tackles. For tackles, yeah. yeah. And and he even – we missed, you know, a game on a storm. Um, so, he missed some opportunities. So, now they got trips right. They're not in a bunch. They're out wide. They got one to the left. Now they're going to sweep right with the left with the quarterback. And he's, he's knocked down immediately by 22, That's Nate Espy. A freshman, Nate Espy on a great sack right there. So wh where is the ball placed now? It's going to be third down and long. It looks like yeah. it's at the um, 14. It's going to be third and 15 or 14. Yeah, it's third and 16. Okay, two minutes, Ball's 18 seconds 14. left to go. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. He's in a spread. He keeping the fullback there, and he's just looking to pass. He's getting a rush, but he's going to throw it deep. We got a man there for him, and he's it's great coverage, yeah. and it was overthrown as well. So it was thrown into about the 52. They were at the 46. And I think they're going to have to punt here because fourth down deep in their own territory. Yeah, so that was really good uh, defense mm -hmm. by Diego Smith. And now uh, we'll need our offense to get going yeah. here. That was a great defensive set there for the Wildcats. like to see them get clicking like that. So we have uh, the punter is going to be punting from his two-yard line. He gets the ball. He kicks it. Oh, and it's not a very good kick. Hopefully, don't inadvertently. Oh, and Diego comes and catches at the 40s, at the 35, the 30. And he's still up. Mm -hmm. So, he's going to get in the red zone, folks. And I so think he's out of bounds maybe about the 15. or. But the Wildcats, they are uh, aggressive on the special teams. The ball was a short kick. It was coming down around the 40, and Harmony was already at the 35, and he took it on the run and where did it get spotted yeah i think it's at the spotted at the 15. so it'll be is that right or the red zone see, see now about the 17. 
Yeah, Not, the, maybe the 19. Yeah, I'm the sorry. board's got 19. Yeah, so. okay, 19. I thought it was where the other guy was standing. Okay, so 19-yard line of Harmony. Wascom takes over, first to 10. Minute. One minute, 50 seconds yeah. left to play in the first. Tie ball game, 7-7. Seven to seven. So we're in a tight flex bone. Edwards motions the slot left, and they give us a jet left. And we got a block on the edge, but they come under. Number 16, the quarterback gets number four for the Wildcats, Cam Washington. So we had the edge, but it, but the edge was um, – we had good blocks, but they, they set the edge on us, and our, our back couldn't get around. And So we lost a few yards on that. Going to bring up second and 12. So now the Wildcats are staying in a tight formation. Caden's under center. Motion right, Morris, and we give it to Deshaun on the right side. So Sean Hamilton it's picks like up. the regular line of scrimmage. So it'll be third and ten. We're almost out of it. we got to keep up with this quarter. Yeah, yeah, less than a minute left. Clock is ticking down. The white hat is tying his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting a play sent in. The Wildcats are in a tight flex bone formation. Receivers are right off tackle in a two-point stance. Motion right, back left to Elijah Morris, and we get that pitch, and they're eating oh, up that no, pitch. He, he we didn't fumble it this time, but no. number eight stuffed that pitch. Yeah, so that, that's a bad uh, – that's going to bring up fourth and ugh, 17. Oh, I missed who that was. It was number eight. Yeah. Tyson Jenkins. Tyson Jenkins. Yeah, he, he was there right as he got the pitch. He was, he was just all over him. So we have um, so now a big a big play call here just to get a first down. We would need to get down to the nine. We're on the twenty six. Fourth and seventeen. We're gonna take a timeout. We're take so a we'll timeout. we'll take a timeout. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Wascom ISD is a leader in academics, athletics, band, and FFA. Success is achieved by hard work and dedication. The Wascom ISD board and students are working hard to build on past success to achieve and have another successful year on the field, in the gym, and in the classroom. Wascom High School working to not only build a better community, but educate our children to be a success in the game of life. On to victory, maroon and white Wildcats of Wascom High. Five Star Metal Builders, building for you. Your shop, garage, barn, equipment shed, metal roofs. Five Star builds any size you want. Five Star uses the highest quality material available. Five Star builds to your specifications. Call 903-407-7627 for appointment or drop by our location on Highway 80 in Wascom, Texas. Five Star Builders, Wascom, Texas. Five Star shines above the rest. All right, back here live in Wascom, Jimmy Cox Stadium, Wascom Wildcats and the Harmony Eagles, 7-7. Seven to seven. We're going to move to the second quarter. So the Wildcats have a fourth and forever. Fourth and 17. They're coming out of a timeout. You, what do you think, they're going to pass? I think they're going to try a pass. I think so, too. But Harmony, they're, they're playing, looks like right now they're setting a cover four. They got two deep safeties, five defensive backs, and we're looking right, and there's tons of, you're going to have to run. Oh, it's not a first down. It's a, it's a it's reception. Clo it's close. No, it's not close, but it's a well, good play. I like to say it was close. It wasn't close, If folks. we wasn't 17 yards, we would have. Yeah. Okay. So. But, I mean, it, it was a good play. It, he rolled out. He was in the pocket, and he was fixing to run, and then he got the ball off and caught by Tyler Davis. He probably Davis. was three or four yards short. That's yeah, close. That's not close. I like that. Mm -mm, not close. So, the Eagles will take over night on the 19-yard line. I'm sorry, the 14-yard 14 14 line. line. So, back deep in their own territory again. Yep. Let's see if we can – we get the quick snap and they're sweeping right with the quarterback. They got oh, us quick. We, we wasn't even set. One. Now we're going to have to – and he's caught by – Yeah. 
Uh, but he's not until he gets to the 44. So it's a first down for Harmony. 44. Yeah, we were not ready. We got to get ready quick and be be ready. So that was uh, who who made the tackle? Number 15. So that was Kelton Williams. So now it'll be first and 10 for Harmony from their 40. Seahorns in the shotgun. Two receivers left. He's motioning that one right, and he does a drag across the field, and they come back to the left. That's where they get that guy coming that from the back. same play. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be tackled by Kelton Williams. Initially, Elijah Morris got him by the shoestrings. Mm -hmm. Number three, Weston Seahorn on the reception. Mm -hmm. So right now, I believe the Wildcats are playing man. They're going to have to do a zone here, uh, especially on this right side. I would keep Nate right here on this right side or whatever side they're not motioning. We're going to we're going to get an interception on that pretty soon you watch Julie. I hope so. Yeah, so they got two receivers to the left, one to the right. They're motioning that guy right and he's going out right and he's looking left for a go. He's got a guy and it's overthrown. It's overthrown coverage is by number 1 Tyler Davis. So their deep passes they haven't hooked up yet, but these little um, a few other scores uh, while we're waiting here. Elysian fields up 12 to 6 over Hugh Springs, walking 7 to 0 right now over Timpson. Queen oh. City and Dangerfield 0 to 0 still. 10 minutes 54 seconds here in the second quarter, 7 to 7. Third and two. Two receivers to the left, one at the tight uh, end spot. He motions his receiver. And he's going to go off tackle on the right, the quarterback. And he's going to pick up the first down. Tackle by 21, Elijah Morris. So the um, Eagles pick up the first down. 10 minutes, 49 seconds, 7 to 7. It looks like there's a penalty on the play. They're going to. I think it was offsides Wascom. Offsides Wascom. So they pick up more with the penalty, so they're going to take the penalty. So they're going to be first and ten, 10 now in Wildcat territory on the 46-yard line. 10 minutes, 49 seconds left to play. The second quarter score 7-7. Seven to seven. Seahorns in the shotgun, receiver to the right and to the left. He's got a fullback on his right side. He's motioning that receiver to come across, and he's going to run off tackle. He oh, breaks the tackle. And then it gets tackled by number eight, Diego Smith. He shoved off that first one. That would have been good if he could have got it. Yeah. He got picked up a little few more yards. So it's going to bring up second and seven. Seahorns looking to the sidelines. Gets this play, receiver out wide left, out right, wide right. He's going to motion somebody. It's the slot guy, and he gives it to the slot guy going up the middle. Mm. And he got up the middle almost to a first down. That's number three. Who's number three? Oh. I think it's Seahorn as well. Yeah. yeah. Bring up third and three. Weston Seahorn. Two receivers to the left. A slot back on the right and a fullback on the left. The defense will get fired up again. Seahorn has his offense set. He's looking to the sideline. Mentioning something to the line. Now he's back set. Motion left. Gives the ball to the fullback up the middle. And he's going to get a big game there of about eight. First down, Harmony Eagles. Ball placed on the Wildcat 30-yard line. First and 10 from the Wildcat 30. Nine minutes left to play in the second quarter. So right now, um, Deshaun Hampton, we need Trey tea, Stevenson. We uh, need T-back for a sack. Elijah Morris or your linebackers. Two receivers to the left. Motion that one right. And now he's looking for that screen. And this time someone's there. That's... 
15. 15, Kelton Williams, and he's been doing really good. He, they got him at a safety tonight, folks. He's been playing cornerback. That's a good that's good uh, coverage mm -hmm. there out of the safety position, and that's similar to that play that they run, but where they get is when they bring it opposite side on that drag because we're not getting enough pressure, so they got plenty of time to mm -hmm. wait on it to develop. Yeah. They're doing a good job of containing T because uh, – well, look at their line. They they don't they're good size. They don't lack on uh -huh. linemen. Uh -huh. It's a big offensive line for Harmony. Two receivers to the left. Motion in the one in the in the uh, position to the right. We got some rush. They go for that screen, and this time he is lit up by Tashawn Hamilton. Yes, sir. And I don't mean that in any sense of the word, other than actually lit up. He picked him up and put him down. Tashawn Hamilton. And that's that play that's been similar to what's been biting us, but he's coming out of the backfield instead of across from the right side. So a good play by Tashawn Hampton. And if you notice, uh, Coach Pearson is rotating the linebackers. Uh, we'll have uh, Leighton Lester, Trey Stevenson, Elijah Morris, Tashawn Hamilton. And then we also will rotate in um, Matt Dykes. But right now it's Tashawn, it's third Trey. Third and nine, folks. Third and nine. Seven minutes, 58 seconds left to play. Then Elijah, Jose. And Davis are your cornerbacks, your safeties. He's got plenty of time. He's looking all in the middle. And it's picked off. Oh! Oh, it's dropped off. The milkman was oh. wanting to run. Number 13, Trey, was his zone mm -hmm. in the middle. And, and he did a good read on the quarterback. And couldn't keep a hold of it. But that will bring up fourth down. So we got fourth and nine. What do you think the play's going to be now for Harmony? Harmony. Well, it's definitely going to be a pass, and they're going to try to do some of this movement they do across field. We need to switch to the zone, especially down l underneath, keep these outside guys covered, man. So they got trips right. They're not in a bunch. They're spread out. One receiver to the left. He's got a fullback to his right side. Seahorn is motioning. Nope, they're moving. He was trying to get him to come across, and he didn't. So he helped us out. I was thinking I'd like to see him get that flag again for that movement. Yeah. That happens to us at these inopportune times. Uh, yeah, see, so he was on the line. And and when he got set, he didn't set back on the line. Mm -hmm. So they're discussing it because technically, I don't think anybody else was moving, but he didn't get set back on the line. Yeah, but they're, they're going to wave, wave it off. It off. Yeah. And wave that's it why off. they're going to wave it off because it was the only guy moving, and they're going to say he got set. Mm -hmm. But technically, he, he was off the line mm -hmm. when he got set. So. That's not a bad call. It's it's kind of a um, hard call there. So they got trips right, one to left. He wants that one left to come right, and here he comes, folks. He's coming right, and they give it to him, and he's going to throw it back. They're doing the Seattle Seahawk play. Oh shoot! And I was Dang. fixing to say something else, and they score. I, I mean that play right there. I run it. It's just y'all know how it goes. So he he come across on the jet and pitched it to him, and the quarterback went out. And they score. I mean, we had all day to get there, too. The ball was hanging there. The safety, I don't know what we were doing there. but So, Harmony scores on a fourth and long. So, we see what they're going to do there, Julie. They're going to score. Did we catch how many yards that was? I believe it was. What do you think it was? About the 30. Yeah, let's say it was a 29-yarder. And the kick is up. And now Harmony goes up over your Wascom Wildcats, 14 to 7. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. East Tech's Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from East Tech's Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! 
All right, folks, we're back here live. Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Harmony just scored on a, a trick play. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. I, they call it something else, Julie. I forget what you call it, but it was successful, 14 to seven. But don't don't get down, folks. The Wildcats got a lot more here, and they're going to do that onside kick, but then it gets a penalty. Didn't go 10 yards. No, and it didn't bounce uh, very well either. So that'll give Wascom some good uh, field position to start this drive. Yeah, and I'm, I'm wondering what they're trying to do there. It looks like they're trying to kick it where it hits and bounces back, mm -hmm. but he's not getting it deep enough. But mm -hmm. I would stop doing that after what happened. Yeah, I mean, I would kick it deep if I was them. Yes, yeah, 14 Waved to 7. Waved off the flag. So I guess because maybe we – no, what it was is he was the only one moving, and he can move, and he can get set. They wasn't out of time. No, I, he just oh. waved the flag off. I thought it didn't go 10 yards, so it was a penalty, but he waved it off. And well, because they the don't want to re-kick. Okay. Coach didn't take He'll take the He'll take it where it's at. Yeah. Okay, so it's in Harmony territory on the 47-yard line. Now, we got two receivers on the right here, one in the slot, and we give it to the fullback. I believe it's Deshaun. Is Deshaun still out there? Let's see once he gets up. No, it's Matt Dykes. Okay, Matt Dykes in. So he picked up three, so that's going to bring up second and seven. Yes, yeah, so Tashawn's playing defense some, and so Matt's rotating in here, full back. Two receivers right, one left. We got one slot back on left. We throw a screen to Diego. We got the block. Let go. Yep. Let go. Oh, oh no. No, and he's in for a score, he's but they're going to. He's in for a touchdown. You got to wave that off. Flag. You got to wave that off. That was not a hold. He was falling, and he couldn't get up. Man, that's a bad call. That was a bad call. Y'all saw it on the film. It was a, it was it was almost a hold. I was calling it, but then the way the guy was there, he let go. Oh, he said face mask. I didn't see a face mask. Did you see a face He's mask? He's calling a face mask. Now, if it was a face mask, I would have missed said that. This. Well, then I okay. Well, then I I I can go for that because that was possible because the kid was kind of falling. It was probably an inadvertent one, not a. But that was a good-looking screen, wasn't it? Yeah, that was perfect. And, and you, we didn't even need that much of a block on that particular. Would have scored, but because of the face mask, that puts us back 15 yards. <sighs> that brings us up second and forever. So the Wildcats will have the ball in Wildcat territory. On the Wildcat 41-yard line. I think I'd run that screen to the other side. Right now, just do it. Second and 21 yards. Edwards under center. Takes a snap. He's looking right. He's rolling right, and he throws it, and he's out of bounds. Oh. Throws it out of bounds. So that was a wasted. That would have been a good pickup on the penalty, but it was thrown way out of bounds. Intended receiver was Tyler Davis, number one. So that's going to bring up third and 21. Seven minutes, four seconds left to play. Harmony Eagles 14, Wascom Wildcats 7. Yeah, our running game, uh, we really – Harmony's really locked down this running game, but they're backed up. Right now, um, maybe would be a good time to get a good sweep. Don't want us to false start. But so the Wildcats pause to get the play. 14-7, Harmony's up over the Wildcats. They're both undefeated, trying to stay undefeated to fight for district. We get a pitch out here and get a block, double block. Mm -hmm. That's a good play. Good block by number eight. Um, yep, that, yeah. that was Diego, number eight, that went, was running the yeah, ball. Yeah, and he did the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was running? I thought he was the blocker. No, I think he was the runner. Well, it, it was Leighton and Diego, so one yeah. was doing a great block and one was doing a decent run. So we have a pretty long fourth down, and we're going to punt. So the Wildcats are at the 36 punting. Snap is back. He gets it, kicks up. High kick, and he's going to call for a fair catch. They're going to call a penalty. Or he called for a fair catch, and we did we did touch him. Yeah, and there goes but the flag. It, it was he was already almost there. Yeah. on him when he called for the fair catch. So he really called for it a little late. Well, I'm not sure what – it took him a long time to put the flag down too. So let's see if they pick it up. 
Let's see if, like, if we can pick them up. No, they're calling it against Wascom. Mm -hmm. So that'll give Harmony a um, pretty good position here to start. Mm. Wildcats not been able to get much going on offense. Our score came on special teams. Harmony scored both both times in the air. So Harmony will take over first and 10 at their 37. Six minutes, 47 seconds left to play. Harmony 14, Wascom 7. Got two receivers to the right, one in a slot on the left. They're going to motion that guy across, and then he's going to go back to the right. They're going to snap it. And he looks right, and then he's got to bring it down. Well, we're screening, and he, he threw it away. Mm -hmm. So it was good coverage, not not much rush. There was nobody there, so I think their now coaches th are saying should be intentional grounding. Yeah, and that's what they're going to call. So our um, Wildcats making some adjustments on their secondary, but we're not – that um, – the offensive line is doing an excellent job for Harmony. We're not getting any rush when we drop back without any – uh, blitzing coming, but it did throw off the quarterback for Harmony. Okay. Well, we needed that. We needed a little help on. We've had the brunt of the penalties tonight, so needed one to go their way. That's going to bring up still, let's see, second down and what is that? 15. 15? Yeah. It looks almost longer. I'm going to say a long 15. Yeah. Well, that's what they got on the board, but I s it does look like it's 17. Mm -hmm. I think the board guy's not doing good. <laughs> Two receivers <laughs> to the left. Uh, full back on the left. He's going to motion his slot guy, and he's going to give it a – and he's keeping it, and he pitches it. I wouldn't have pitched Ooh. it. Oh, thank you for pitching it. Oh, and it rolled out of bounds, rolled folks. Rolled out of bounds. Thank you for pitching it, and you gave us a gift, and we could not cash in. Mm -hmm. But that's going to bring up third down now, and I'm going to say 18. It is. They got to get to the 47 and a half or 47 yard line for a first, and the ball's on the. Looks like they moved it up. It's on the 30. So it's got to be at least. Now they changed it, Julie. They listened to you. Mm. So the Wildcats defense is really having to do some. Um, Studying here on Harmony. Harmony's motioning the guy right. He comes across on a drag. He's got plenty of time. We get a little bit of rush at this last second, and it's overthrown. Oh. Oh. And it's almost picked off. But was that fourth, or it's fourth now? Now it's fourth. Now it's fourth. Yeah. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to intercept that one. That was pretty deep. Yeah. Oh, here's the ball landed at the 25 of Wascom. Now it's fourth down. T, uh, T is trying to plead his case. He, he's saying he's getting hell. Mm-hmm. You think he's getting held? I think he's getting held. <laughs> T would have done been back there and sacked that quarterback. They're now holding Jace him. Jace Thompson, number 11, is in for the Wildcats on D-line, and he got uh, some rush there um, to make him throw it. So they're in the punting uh, formation. Six minutes, 26 seconds left to go in the second quarter. we got two backs back, and Nate gets close to kicking. It's a – just a soccer squib, but it takes a harmony super bounce. It did, didn't it? Ooh, and I thought we almost accidentally touched it. So it, it's down here at the 16, folks. Mm -hmm. It did take a good bounce, didn't it? Yeah, it's a good kick. So the Wildcats will take over first and 10. And we need to score on offense to get a little uh, momentum going for the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. So Wascom takes over, what Michael said, and they're – at their own 16-yard line. Six minutes, 16 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Harmony 14, Wascom 7. Wascom love to tie this game up, if not go ahead, before halftime. So the Wildcats offense is coming out. We Haven't got, really seen much of them tonight. So we got two receivers to the left. It's Anthony Zuniga out wide and Jose Hernandez. And, this, and that's um, – a different receiver here in the slot left. Slot receiver left. Caden Edwards is under center. Motion right, and we give it to Tashawn. 
And Caden keeps it yeah. as yeah. quarterback keeper. Caden faked it to Shashan, kept it himself, and got a few yards on that. It's going to be five yards, so set, bring up second and five. So Cam Washington is the slot on the right side. And Elijah Morris is the slot on the left side. Tashawn is the fullback. Two receivers to the left. Motion right, Morris. And they give it to Morris. Uh, and they, they just plug up every gap mm -hmm. over there. That's good defense. I was just thinking that I'd like to see Elijah Morris get a hold of the ball. He's had some really good plays in some previous games. Kind of elusive. But they were able to get him. But he did pick up. Let's see. How many yards on that? Well, that's a few. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Five-star metal builders, building for you. Your shop, garage, barn, equipment shed, metal roofs. Five-star builds any size you want. Five-star uses the highest quality material available. Five-star builds to your specifications. Call 903-407-7627 for appointment or drop by our location on Highway 80 in Wascom, Texas. Five-star builders, Wascom, Texas. Five-star shines above the rest. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat Football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Five minutes, 24 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Caden's under center, two receivers to the left. And he just kept it. He was trying to, because we only needed two, right? But yeah. I don't think he got maybe one if, if we were fortunate. Harmony's offensive line and defensive line are both stout. Mm -hmm. We're going to punt. That's going to bring up fourth and two. Four minutes, 53 seconds and counting. Left to play in the second quarter. Be sure to stick around for halftime, folks. Got some great halftime entertainment for you. Harmony 14, Wascom 7. Wascom lined up to punt. So back deep here for Harmony. I think it's number one. Kicks it over to the left side. It lands at, you know, it takes a harmony bounce. Mm. So it's going to be down. Wildcat stop it on the bad bounce at the 43. So Harmony's going to get the ball back at their own 43-yard line. First and 10. Four minutes, 23 seconds left to play in the second quarter. So Wascom's defense coming back out. Defense has been out there a pretty good bit. I have to say, they're probably getting pretty tired. Yeah, they're going to have to step it up. Two receivers to the left. They're going to pause and give us an opportunity to catch our breath. So we've got two out wide on the left, one in a slot position on the right side of the line. And he gives it to number one off tackle on the right. Mm. He picks up some good yards. Close to a first down. I think he did get a first down. Ball now in Wildcat territory on the 45-yard line. First and 10, Harmony. Seahorn is checking the sideline for the play. They're keeping these two receivers on the left. One's in the slot, one's out right on the Wildcat side. Motion in that slot receiver across to the right side, then back to the left side. They snap the ball, and he's going to run off tackle on no sweep. And he's going to pick up another first down. So we don't have an answer for that side on the run plays, at least at this point. And it could be, like you said, they're getting tired. Defense has definitely been on the field a lot longer than our offense. First and 10, three minutes, 43 seconds left to go 
Ball now on the Wildcat 31 yard line. Maybe we need to call a timeout. Mm -hmm. Have a little water break. So Seahorn is getting his offense set. Now he's got the receiver on the left and the right. He's motioning that slot back to the left and he's going back up the middle. And this time we get a pretty good stop there by Trey Stevenson. Number 13. Yeah, they're keeping us. Uh, Harmony moves the ball around uh, a lot. We got to play defense all the way across the field. Second and nine now for Harmony. So Harmony's taking a little bit more time getting their play this time. Offensive line is getting set. They got a receiver out wide on the left and the right. Now they're motioning that receiver across left, and now the quarterback's going back right. And we get another good stop. Maybe a little loss of yards on that. Or are they going to get in forward progress? So we're getting under three minutes, 14 7 and 7, and Harmony's up with the ball. I think he got a pretty good spot on that. It's still third and nine. Wildcats have to. Uh, or they need to make a stand so we can get something going on offense. Two receivers over to the left side now. Motion in that slot over. Flag. That time he was moving. Yeah. Yeah, eight was moving and four. Well, that helps us out just a little bit. Yeah, I do like watch you know, Harmony. You know, they're, they're motion that guy all the way across, and then sometimes they'll motion him just to the end of the line of scrimmage. Then he'll go up field. So bring up third and 14 now. So now the Wildcats are in good position to make a stand. Mm -hmm. Ball moved to the 35. 14 to 7. Harmony's up over the Wildcats. They're both undefeated, and they're both battling for district champ and wanting to be 1 and 2 in the district. Uh, Dangerfield right now on paper has the upper hand, but all three are undefeated at this point, so it's anybody's um, district at this moment. Seahorn's getting his play. Now he's got... Uh, trips to the left in a bunch, one on the right, receiver. And I think we did what – no, what's that there? Is that a penalty? Mm, let's see. Did we got too many players? One, two, three, four. Delay a game, offense. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Time ran out. Yeah, so it's a delay of game. I well, wasn't even looking yeah, at the I game didn't look clock. At the clock either. Or the play clock. Play, the clock. play clock, yeah, play clock. I wasn't looking. So that's going to back them up now to the – 40. I'm kind of curious if they'll run that play they did. They scored second eventually again. Mm, third and 19. The Wildcats look like they're going to blitz this time. Seahorn is in uh, the shotgun. He gets a rush. Oh, and T. And he gets the ball T, off. T, and it's T, up for grabs, and the Wildcats intercept it. T did the, the get 11. held on that. I, I definitely saw that. Did you see that? I, I was watching the reception. Yeah, T, T would have had him, and he did get held. So. Yeah. He does have an argument there for that. But, yes, Wildcat interception. At the 11. And who was that, Michael? Cam Washington. So a minute and 33 seconds. We got 89 yards to go with a minute and 33 seconds to try to tie this game up or go ahead. The Wascom offense has not got too much going tonight. I'm thinking, uh, you know, some of those passing plays were, were doing – uh, a little more for us in the run game tonight. we got to get uh, this run game moving. Receiver to the left, one to the right. They're going to pitch it right and sweep right. He's got some blocks. That's to Sean Hamilton. He gets the edge. He's 30-yard line, All and right. he's going to get to the 30. That's a Dillard Feedhouse first down for to Sean Hamilton. It's a little B-back pitch sweep right. That's some uh, – Good blocking over here for the receivers. Probably our best run tonight. Play tonight. So the clock is stopped while they get the ball set, and then it'll get going again. Ball on the 31, 32. We've yard got line. one receiver to the right, one tight on the, I'm sorry, to the left, and then we're going to run up the middle. And Deshaun breaks loose. Well, I'm sorry, folks. He broke loose out of the pile, but. Uh, but not down the field, yeah. so we've got to But that's 40. another Dillard Feedhouse first down Seven for Tashawn Hamilton. 
And so Tashawn is moving the ball. Again, that ball clock will stop while the chain gang gets set. The ball is set, but the chain gang isn't there yet. Yeah, and they, they go by the ball now in UIL. So Tashawn, he's steadily moving up field. Mm -hmm. He's got seven on that. I think the Wildcats will take a timeout yeah, here. Timeout, Wildcats. So with a minute and three seconds, 14-7 Harmony. The Wildcats are moving the ball. They're in Harmony territory. Michael and Julie will be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Stop paying month to month. Visit with us at Brown Rig Insurance about paying your policy in full. Processing fees aren't cheap, and guess who pays for that? If you have the means, paying your policy in full can save you hundreds of dollars each year with most insurers. Call now at 903-938-8888 or go to mybrownrig.com on the web. Brown Rig Insurance, where you need to be. Want a beautiful smile? Here at Cartridge Dental Center, patients come in with a smile and leave with an even bigger one. Dr. Fowler and Dr. Vetter are our general dentists that specialize in dentures, cosmetic dentistry, replacement teeth, whitening. Back here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, Wascom's moving the ball but doesn't have much time left in the first half. Caden's under center motion right. Elijah Morris, they're trying to draw them off sides. They stay put. Harmony, that is. One minute, three seconds left to play in the second quarter. Harmony 14, Wascom 7. So Harmony keeps their cornerbacks off about 10 yards. So they got two safeties that kind of line up with the two cornerbacks. So it's four deep, and he's letting the ball loose anyway. And we got a guy open, and he had a weight on it, and he catches it. Diego yes. Smith at the 7. Die Diego Smith, the Dillard Feedhouse first down all the way down to the seven-yard line, folks. Clock, the clock is stopped with 56 seconds left to play. Now, first and goal. First and goal in the red zone. Now we need to go back to that. Yep, just let's keep pounding it. Matt Dykes is going to pick up two. Or is it one or two? We need to uh, – I know what I do right here, but I'm not the coach. We got <laughs> 38 seconds. We're in one receiver to the right. Caden gives it to Matt Dykes again. And he's going to pick up. He's going to get to the five. Mm -hmm. Do see we have another timeout? Call. Let's see. I, yeah, I think we got two timeouts. Yeah, okay. we got two timeouts. Okay, so 23 seconds. Wascom calls a timeout. Well, now the ball is placed on the five-yard line. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Dillard Feed House, 210 West Travis, an exclusive Manor Pro dealer. Products for horses and poultry. Dillard, Lone Star, Mormons, along with the show right show beef for steers and swine, lambs and goats. All livestock to perform their very best. Dillard Feed House says it's time now to prepare for your winter and spring garden. Suggesting you get a soil test, planting guide, best results for the varieties you plant. Dillard will always have fresh plants in season. That's Dillard Feed House, 210 West Travis, all your gardening needs. My, uh, back here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, Wildcats are coming out of the timeout. Down here on the sideline is uh, our inductees, or one of our inductees, mm -hmm. Chan Amy, number 15. So, all right, folks, we're coming out of the timeout. we got 23 seconds. What are we going to do, Julia? Are we going to score? Tashawn's back in. Tashawn's back in. Tyler Davis is out wide left. we got a, a, a B set on the right side here with our backs, and we're going right. Oh, get going get straight, going, get going, going, going straight. Go. And Deshaun gets down to the three, I believe. And I think they're going to call their last time out. So it'll stop the clock with 13 seconds left to go, folks. Ball on about the three-yard line. Yeah, this clock is really putting the pressure on the play calling for the coaches. This, we're going to stay here. Also, it's fourth down. Oh, yeah, this is, a, this is a tough call, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's automatic three. You've been, we, you know, we were moving the ball at wheel, yeah. but now we're in the red zone, and they they done put in their uh, uh, beef down here on the goal line, and yeah. it's going to be tough to get up the middle here. Harmony got a really good size line, and they're strong. Yeah, I'm, you know, I, what, what's the ball on? The ball's on the three. It's fourth down and goal, so it's three yards. We got to get it. 
So the time doesn't really matter now with it being fourth down. Yeah, these uh, fans need to get on their feet. The Bells got – look, they're doing a thing here. So we got yeah. – what it, I – I see what the coach calls. I, I don't know where he's going to call, folks. Caden's looking back. He's like, are you sure? <laughs> he's like, all right, here we go. He's set. No motion. And he's going to follow to Sean. And he's going to keep up. And he's not going to make oh, it, folks. Oh, you know what? I think he almost could have went around him. Yeah. And and went on in on But he cut back up. And they did stop him. Six seconds left, folks. Harmony 14. Wascom 7. Ball goes over on down. Yeah. So they're going to go in the halftime 14 to – Seven, I uh, I just um, like I said, you don't want to you don't want to be in that position as a coach on that tough, one. Tough, There's a lot tough of different play. things you could have done. Tough call. Yeah, it's a tough call. Um, so folks, we're gonna go in at halftime. I don't think Harmony's gonna try to do something, nothing too spectacular down here at this yard. I think they'll probably just down it. Well, I don't know. They're you talking it over do, over yeah, there. They maybe try to do something tricky. They're talking it over. There's six seconds. On the clock, again, Harmony has the ball on the Wildcat three-yard line. Let's see what they do. So we got four men deep here at the 30. See, I think they're going to down it. Under center, and he downs it. Yeah. I called it. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back right back with your halftime show. Harmony's up over the Wascom Wildcats 14 to 7. Hal Norris Insurance Agency, your hometown agent located in downtown Wascom. Norris Agency has a complete line of home, auto, health insurance programs. Let Hal custom design your insurance, especially your homeowners. Norris Insurance represents the largest mobile home insurer in the business. From liability to full coverage on home, auto, farm buildings, call Hal at 903-687-3175. Knowledgeable, available, friendly. That's Norris Insurance Agency for all your insurance. Wascom ISD is a leader in academics, athletics, band, and FFA. Success is achieved by hard work and dedication. The Wascom ISD board and students are working hard to build on past success to achieve and have another successful year on the field, in the gym, and in the classroom. Wascom High School working to not only build a better community, but educate our children to be a success in the game of life. On to victory, maroon and white Wildcats of Wascom High. Killian Pharmacy in downtown Wascom Pharmacist Dr. Rosa Rivas and Walter Killian. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years. A full service pharmacy with a drive through window, bilingual staff, insurance, and Medicaid accepted. Louisiana and VA prescriptions welcome. Your health is the main concern of Killian Pharmacy. You can call 903-687-2525. Next door to Rural Health Clinic for one-stop health care, Killian Pharmacy. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. Enjoy an easier way to pay every day with the new Red River Credit Union Visa Platinum Rewards Credit Card. Make purchases easy and secure with your Visa Rewards Card and enjoy features such as contactless purchasing, enhanced fraud protection, Visa Purchase Alerts, and Card Swap. Earn rewards when you pay for almost everything in stores and online. One point for every dollar you spend. Points can be redeemed for merchandise or cashback. Apply at any local RRCU branch or online at rrfcu.com. Red River Credit Union, federally insured by N. See you away. What's in a name? Family, pride, love, attention to detail, and trust. At Signature Cleaning, our family takes care of your family just like you would. 100% satisfaction guarantee. You get what you pay for. Licensed and insured, commercial or residential, Signature offers free estimates and services for all of Harrison County. Call now at 903-754-5447. Signature cleaning. We don't just leave our name, we leave our signature. This is 
Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Tech's Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat Football. East Tech's Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. East Tech's Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from East Tech's Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! Five Star Metal Builders, building for you. Your shop, garage, barn, equipment shed, metal roofs. Five Star builds any size you want. Five Star uses the highest quality material available. Five Star builds to your specifications. Call 903-407-7627 for appointment or drop by our location on Highway 80 in Wascom, Texas. Five Star Builders, Wascom, Texas. Five Star shines above the rest. Stop paying month to month. Visit with us at Brown Rig Insurance about paying your policy in full. Processing fees aren't cheap, and guess who pays for that? If you have the means, paying your policy in full can save you hundreds of dollars each year with most insurers. Call now at 903-938-8888 or go to mybrownrig.com on the web. Brown Rig Insurance, where you need to be. Want a beautiful smile? Here at Carthage Dental Center, patients come in with a smile and leave with an even bigger one. Dr. Fowler and Dr. Vetter are our general dentists that specialize in dentures, cosmetic dentistry, replacement teeth, whitening, and even sedation for those fearful patients. We are open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. Our number is 903-693-8500. Go Wildcats! Dillard Feed House, 210 West Travis, an exclusive Manor Pro dealer. Products for horses and poultry. Dillard, Lone Star, Mormons, along with the show right show beef for steers and swine, lambs and goats. All livestock to perform their very best. Dillard Feed House says it's time now to prepare for your winter and spring garden. Suggestion you get a soil test, planting guide, best results for the varieties you plant. Dillard will always have fresh plants in season. That's Dillard Feed House, 210 West Travis, all your gardening needs. Hal Norris Insurance Agency, your hometown agent located in downtown Wascom. Norris Agency has a complete line of home, auto, health insurance programs. Let Hal custom design your insurance, especially your homeowners. Norris Insurance represents the largest mobile home insurer in the business. From liability to full coverage on home, auto, farm buildings, call Hal at 903-687-3175. Knowledgeable, available, friendly. That's Norris Insurance Agency for all your insurance. Wascom ISD is a leader in academics, athletics, band, and FFA. Success is achieved by hard work and dedication. The Wascom ISD board and students are working hard to build on past success to achieve and have another successful year on the field, in the gym, and in the classroom. Wascom High School working to not only build a better community, but educate our children to be a success in the game of life. On to victory, maroon and white Wildcats of Wascom High.
Killian Pharmacy in downtown Wascom. Pharmacist Dr. Rosa Rivas and Walter Killian. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years. A full service pharmacy with a drive through window. Bilingual staff, insurance, and Medicaid accepted. Louisiana and VA prescriptions welcome. Your health is the main concern of Killian Pharmacy. You can call 903-687-2525. Next door to Rural Health Clinic for one-stop health care. Killian Pharmacy. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at MarshallFord.net or at MaverickChevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. Enjoy an easier way to pay every day with the new Red River Credit Union Visa Platinum Rewards Credit Card. Make purchases easy and secure with your Visa Rewards Card and enjoy features such as contactless purchasing, enhanced fraud protection, Visa Purchase Alerts, and Card Swap. Earn rewards when you pay for almost everything in stores and online. One point for every dollar you spend. Points can be redeemed for merchandise or cash back. Apply at any local RRCU branch or online at rrfcu.com. Red River Credit Union, federally insured by NC. See you away. What's in a name? Family, pride, love, attention to detail, and trust. At Signature Cleaning, our family takes care of your family just like you would. 100% satisfaction guarantee. You get what you pay for. Licensed and insured, commercial or residential, Signature offers free estimates and services for all of Harrison County. Call now at 903-754-5447. Signature Cleaning. We don't just leave our name, we leave our signature. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at MarshallFord.net or at MaverickChevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, back here live at Jimmy Ecock Stadium. It's halftime. Wascom is down 14 to 7 versus the Harmony Eagles. They're both undefeated, trying to remain undefeated here in district play. Give you the first half wrap up. It's three minutes, 24 seconds in the first quarter. Harmony strikes first. Um, Seahorn pass to. Braxton Baker, 20-yard pass. Extra point was successful, 7-0 Harmony. Harmony came right back and attempted an onside kick. So then with nine seconds, it took nine seconds, three minutes, 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Leighton Lester, number seven, picked up the onside kick on a bounce and ran it 47 yards. Extra point by Anthony Zuniga was successful, 7-7 tie ball game. Then with seven minutes, 45 seconds in the second quarter, Harmony had a fourth and long, and they did a, a little bit of trickery. Uh, had a receiver come across on a jet sweep. They handed it off, and the quarterback took off left on a wheel, wheel route, and they threw it back to the quarterback, and they scored on that fourth down play, a 29-yard pass. And they were successful in their extra point. 14 to 7, and that's where we're at now, folks. Harmony has got it up on the Wildcats, 14 to 7. We have the Bells out tonight, Julie. And with them are the Mini Bells. They had a Mini Bell camp uh, this past week or two weeks, and they are going to, girl, young girls are going to perform with them tonight in the pink out routine. 
All right, so we'll go out here to the field and listen to their performance. We would like to introduce to you tonight our captain, Tori Wells. Co-captain, sophomore, Christina Seacott. Marley Walden, freshman. Ari Abeja, freshman. Riley Oney, sophomore. Kendall Mann, junior. Kaylee Benetrix, sophomore. And Paisley White, freshman. Managers for the Bells this year are Brianna Rich and Ariana Warner. Tonight, the Washington Minute Bells will be joining the high school Bells performing to I Won Candy. The Bells would like to thank everyone who participated and helped with this year's Minnie Bells camp. We want to thank uh, Melanie Walden for decorating the hoop and Monogram Madness for our fabulous t shirts. This week, your Bell of the Week is Marley Walden. School bales and their little bales. That's a lot of girls. Is that like jingle bales? Southern bales. Southern bales. That's a lot of girls on the field tonight. So great job, Hope. Uh, that will encourage other girls to get in and make the bales a bigger program. Yeah, that was that was a good performance. We got 12 and a half, or no, 13 minutes, or just under 13 minutes. Left of the half, and it comes to the award winning bands, the Waska Wildcat bands at contest got mm. all ones. The band got all ones. They'll be going tomorrow to area. I believe uh, they're leaving the school at 1245 if you want to come and, and uh, clap them out from the school and encourage them as they head out. Well, uh, do you know where the competition is going to be? I'm not sure. Let's go out here and listen to the Waska Wildcat band. First Division Band of Pure Swagger. Your Wascom High School Marching Band. <laughs> this pirate crew is under the direction of Adam Johnson and Jeremy Gressman. Our drum instructor is Haley McKinney. The color guard instructor is Tabitha Higginbotham. And our drum major is Captain Debony Holland. <laughs> section of the week this week for your band is the color guard. The performer of the week is Tucker Henderson. And tonight, the band will be performing this year's UIL show entitled A Pirate's Fortune. This will feature a trumpet duet by Tyler Nelson and Chase Hint. 
The bass feature will be performed by Mallory Sturdivant, Josh Hawthorne, Logan Blackmore, and Joshua and Noah Crabtree. The Woodwind feature will be performed by The Woodwinds. Please enjoy the show.
Wascom Wildcat award winning band. Excellent job. We wish them well tomorrow and as they go and compete yes. in the area. Again, if you want to cheer them on as they are leaving the school, I think that's at 1245. A few area scores tonight at halftime. Hughes springs up 20 to 18 over Elysian Fields. They got a tight game going over there. Uh, Joaquin is up 14 to 7 over Timpson. Joaquin, uh oh. Dangerfield 21 to 0 over Queen City. Is that halftime all these games? Yes. Um, Hallsville Bobcats 23 to 21 over Pine Tree. That's a rivalry game going on tonight. Troop 22, West Russ 19. Hawkins 6, Harleton 0. Tatum 28, Sabine Cardinals 14. Gladewater 21, Jefferson 7. And Franklin and Lorena tied 21 at halftime. Well, uh, that's interesting on uh, the Joaquin Timpson game. Yeah, and I'm assuming that's right. Sometimes people get on that app and put in whatever they want, and then somebody has to go fix it. And you, but it, those look like I think they're correct scores tonight. So Harleton, I'm um, Harmony, not Harleton. Mm -hmm. Harmony's mm -hmm. already out on the field or on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. Wascom's out, ready to warm up in the end zone with three minutes and 31 seconds. So they're going to take their time here to warm up. And we are here at 14 to 7. It'll be interesting to see what happens here in the second half. We want to see the Wildcats come back fired up and bring home a win on a comeback. Right before the half, we had a long pass. It was about 40-something yard mm -hmm. pass. Diego got down to the 7. Then we moved the ball down to the 3. Couldn't punch it in. No. and. Uh, we went in at halftime like that, score 14-7, to seven, uh, Harmony up. And so with three minutes left, folks, we'll be back to start this second half of play. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. East Tex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from East Tex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! Five Star Metal Builders, building for you. Your shop, garage, barn, equipment shed, metal roofs. Five Star builds any size you want. Five Star uses the highest quality material available. Five Star builds to your specifications. Call 903-407-7627 for appointment or drop by our location on Highway 80 in Wascom, Texas. Five Star Builders, Wascom, Texas. Five Star shines above the rest. Back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. The Wascom Wildcats are in their runout tunnel. Harmony's been watching them for the last couple of minutes on the sideline as they warmed up in their end zone. It's the pink out game uh, tonight, you know, it's for breast cancer awareness. Just so you know, folks, um, at the pep rally today, they honored some cancer survivors. They honored Miss Joyce Moore, Miss Dottie Moore, and Yolanda Durley. Miss Dottie and Miss Joyce have both had a a lot of years of service at Wascom. So if you came through school at Wascom, I'm sure that you know Miss Dottie Mercer or Miss uh, Joyce, Joyce Moore. So. so the Wildcats have made it out onto the field. The sidelines, we uh, did the first, so we'll get the ball first. So that would have been too good 
if we would have had that score there at the half. And it would have been great if we would have come out tied up and been able to go ahead. But let's let's see. Hopefully the Wildcats are going to come up fired up, ready to go. Coach Pearson gave them a good halftime motivational speech. Yep, and so we're getting set to receive the kick. Wildcats are asking what side they they, I wonder why they were looking at this side. They didn't remember they were on that side. Maybe they like that side better. Yeah, they like that side. <laughs> so here at the front row, got Jace Thompson, number 11, 22, Nate Espy, 7, Leighton Luster, 5, Caleb Bush. On the second row, we got Anthony Zuniga, number 9, Matt Dykes, number 23. Then they got Diego Smith behind them by themselves and Kind of got three in the back. Tyler Davis is in the middle. Elijah Morris is on the left. And on the right is um, Cam Washington. Harmony's in the center here before they're spreading out. So the Wildcats are matching them up. Now they're spreading out. So will the Wildcats. I think Harmony's going to do one of those little pooch kicks again. I'm not sure. Uh, the other gentleman on the front row on the left side is uh, Moses Agundas, number 17. And here goes the kick, and they do punch it. Oh, and it's picked up by Layton again in there. Go, Layton. Layton's at the 30. He's at the 25, and they get him at the 20. He's not playing on those kicks. Mm -hmm. Keep kicking it down here to Layton Lester. I mean, why don't they go the other side? I, I'm not what? sure, but I can tell you that, you know, I, I would quit doing that. Yeah, that was interesting because Caleb was fixing to feel it. Caleb was waiting on it, mm -hmm. and Layton ran in front of him and took it, in, you know, in the air in front of Caleb. Mm -hmm. And Harmony's not even getting – getting a jump on the ball i mean the ball mm -mm. it's like you got like it seems like a lifetime mm -hmm. between the kick you know and i'd like michael said we haven't seen harmony i haven't we haven't watched any of their games so i don't know if they've had success in their other games with that or yeah they must have had success because mm -hmm. they keep doing it so the wildcats are over left they got two receivers to the left cadence under center motion left and i think they're getting a free play here and we're going to throw it up and oh we couldn't get it mm -hmm. So they jumped off sides. Harmony. Man, that would have been nice. Those mm -hmm. those uh, special team pl uh, were pretty exciting. Layton's making yeah. that pretty exciting because I know uh, the special teams coach is holding his breath on those because if those yeah. go wrong, they can go really wrong. Yeah. So the Wildcats will get a five-yard so mark off. Bring up, it should be second and five, shouldn't it? They've still no, because they get the first. same down. Do we get the same yeah. down? Yeah. Okay, so first and five. Uh -huh. And so that's that puts us in just prime position here to score. We just got to be uh, methodical and move the ball. Two receivers still left. Motion left. Diego Smith, and we pitch it on a rocket sweep left. And that defense is mm. just not that, – no. that defense is good. Can't get around that edge. Uh -uh, and that's the quarterback, I believe, for them, number 16. Yeah. So lost a few yards on that Seahorn. play. Yes, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get downfield on these guys. We're, we're not going to be able to stretch them out. They're very disciplined there in their run fits and doing a good job on the Wildcats running game. This so will bring up second down, second down and eight. Yeah, so we lost some of that advantage. Still two receivers to the left. Motion right. And we'll give it to Deshaun, and that's where we need to go straight downhill. Yes, and Deshaun picked up a Dillard Feedhouse first down. Let's see if they give it, yep. Well, I'm calling it. Move yeah. those chains. Yeah, see, we needed that <laughs> at the first quarter there. I mean, the last yeah. of the first quarter. Yeah. All well, right. we need this score right here, and then we need to hold them. So, I'd like to see the Wildcats come out and just drive it in. Look Ten minutes, 52 seconds left and counting. Look at the chain gang. They're not even set. And <laughs> but it's still, you know, they still can get a first down. But look at him. They're yeah. just watching. So, the ball's on the 10. Two receivers to the left, steal in this formation, interesting formation. Under center, no motion. We give it to Sean. He keeps it, and that's working pretty well, too, especially after that big run. Yeah, so the quarterback kept it. Let's see. He's going to get up to about the four. That guy right there is big. Let's see. Where is he playing? That number 17 for Harmony. That guy. I set the ball at the five. He kind of looks like me. <laughs> What's his number? Let's see. Braxton Baker. I think he's two of you. Junior, 6'2". Yeah, he's a little taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. 
So now the Wildcats are kind of in the same position we were there at before the half. Yeah. Said we got a few more downs though. Ball at the five. Send it downhill. Motion jet right, and we keep it. Mm, I'm not liking oh the tip and toe with those big guys, but he gets close to the mm -hmm. end zone. So coach, you got to go with your bread and butter here, uh, and it's not um, a bad position because we got two downs now. Yeah, and we got um, so it's third and two. Third and two. Third and two, nine minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Diego Smith is coming out, number eight, number seven. Leighton Lester is coming in. I can tell you the play right here. It's called mm -mm, Deshaun up the middle. Deshaun up the middle, number 20. Third down and two. We're in a tight formation with one receiver out to the right. Motion right. And it is to Sean on the Deshaun right side. It is to Sean up yep. the middle, That's and he right. is in for a Wildcat touchdown. That's a Wildcat -Wild -Wild score, folks. Two yards, Julie. Nine minutes, six seconds. Touchdown on Wascom. So Wildcats are coming out here the way we were wanting to see them, especially after that missing that touchdown. But we're still trailing by one. Anthony Zunica is out here to try to match it up, fourteen to fourteen. You don't think they're going to try to do a two? No, no I think they're going to they're <laughs> kick it. Yeah. Caden Edwards is the placeholder. The snap is down. The kick is, oh, is it blocked? Oh, a kick it's is blocked. blocked. It was blocked. It's picked up, and he's going to be tackled. Mm -hmm. We should have pitched it back. Couldn't. That's just good just to get a coverage. So um, Harmony blocks the kick. That's going to keep Harmony ahead by a point, Wascom. 13, Harmony 14, nine minutes, six seconds left in the third quarter. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Stop paying month to month. Visit with us at Brown Rig Insurance about paying your policy in full. Processing fees aren't cheap, and guess who pays for that? If you have the means, paying your policy in full can save you hundreds of dollars each year with most insurers. Call now at 903-938-8888 or go to mybrownrig.com on the web. Brown Rig Insurance, where you need to be. We're back here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Wildcats keeping us on our seats. Thought we had tied it up, folks, but the Harmony Eagles blocked the extra point by the Wildcats. 14-13. Nine minutes, six seconds left to play now. Well, it's going to come out here and kick. We've been kicking it deep. Yeah. So that's what we need to keep, kicking it deep. I think the only thing we haven't seen from Harmony is a turnover. No, we had one interception. Yeah, we had an interception. We had an interception, but it was deep in our territory. Mm -hmm. So Zunig, Anthony Zunica is out here to kick 27. This is the one of the – I think I called that incorrectly earlier. So 27's back here for Harmony, and that is Cole Stevens, and it's going to Cole Stevens. He's going to – oh, it's going to get by him. He's going to pick it up at the 14. He's back to the 16. Oh, he, he weaves through there. He mm -hmm. gets back to the 25. So yeah, he got out of a little trouble there. And good coverage by the Wildcats. Had a few moves and shook off a few folks. So the now Eagles let's see what our defense can do. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. They're on 24. Eight minutes, 58 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Again, Harmony 14, Wascom 13. So the Wildcats came out here. That's our first offensive score mm -hmm. at the special team um, score in the first half. Seahorn in the shotgun, one receiver to the left. He's motioning his wide receiver from the right to the left, and he's going to run behind a slew of blockers, and we were able to get through them. They have a good blocking scheme. I think I saw a little holding going on there. Um, keep an eye on uh, Bone Crusher. I think he's got a – Somebody's holding down yeah, there. Yeah, I think he, he is, uh, has a, a legitimate beef there. I think it's uh, hard to see down there in the trenches, but he's going to have to figure out something down there because he's not going to get any help. Mm -mm. Got a receiver to the left, one to the right. They've got a slot back. He's motioning, and he's going to fake, and they're going to give it to the fullback up the middle. That was, I think, the bone crusher. 
Yeah. He was in on that. Yeah. It looks like somebody lost their helmet for Harmony, so he had to go out of play. He's a big guy. Yep, set it for third and one, folks. Maybe we can take advantage and, and uh, get the quarterback. Yeah, let's see if that made a difference on this. Love to see a sack. So the Wildcats have are set. they got two receivers still left, that slot back, and they're going to give it to the fullback. And he, ooh, they got him, yeah. but he's going to roll over and pick it up barely. So the Eagles do pick up that first down. 14 to 13, the Eagles are over the Wildcats. Two undefeated teams. Mm -hmm. Ball on the Harmony Eagle 35 yard line, seven minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter. So Ridge Riley is out on the defensive end on the left side now. Abraham Terraza is on the right. T's in the middle at the nose. The quarterback's gonna pitch it on a little shuffle pass in the middle. And T gets that mm, play. Yeah, that was the bone crusher. Number He's 58. Stop that play. Yeah, he did a little shuffle pass to number three. Did Boy, pick up a few horn. yards, though, on it. Bring up second and six. They got one receiver left. They got a two real tight on the right side. So it looks like there's um, six on the line of scrimmage, two backs right there on the right side, one to the left. Quarterback and a fullback on the left side. Wildcats are showing blitz, and they come, and the quarterback goes straight up the middle. And he picks up a few, so it's kind of even there. Bonecrusher gets another stop, <laughs> but he's but he, he gave, up a, uh, yeah. gave up a few too many yards because now that gives them a third and two. Yeah. We got to get them at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. It's hard getting a push on that offensive line of harmony. Yeah, there's some big guys in the middle. Some big guys in the middle. And on the edges. That whole line is big. So I believe Harmony's gonna run it again or they're gonna catch it sucking in and throw a pass. Third down and two under center motion in the receiver left. And they do a cross buck right and he's gonna pick up the first down and a lot more. He's into Wildcat territory. That's first down for Harmony, moving the ball into Wildcat territory on the 45-yard line. Five minutes, 51 seconds left to play in the third. Man, this is getting to be some smash-mouth football. They're running hard. Both teams are no, – wait a second. Okay, so we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Want a beautiful smile? Here at Cartridge Dental Center, patients come in with a smile and leave with an even bigger one. Dr. Fowler and Dr. Vetter are our general dentists that specialize in dentures, cosmetic dentistry, replacement teeth, whitening, and even sedation for those fearful patients. We are open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. Our number is 903-693-8500. Go Wildcats! All right, back here live, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. This is going to be a, a tough game to finish out. These these uh, teams are battling hard here tonight. Defense really getting tired, I think, have had a lot of play time tonight. So now Seahorn is under center in the eye, pro formation, pro set, two receivers, one on each side. He pauses to look to the side for the play. He's gonna stay under center, eye formation, pro set. Motion left, he's bringing that receiver behind him. And they're gonna do that cross buck play again and we catch him but he breaks the tackle and only picks up a couple. So we got him behind the line but he broke that tackle. Mm -hmm. Picked up maybe a yard. Yeah, so they'll do that counter play out of that motion and they back, go back right when they're motioning left. Wildcats, um, they've been out there a while, but their defense is, is tightened up. Harmony was having their way with them on some of those little short passes, but we hadn't seen them do that in a while. I wonder mm -hmm. why they went away from that. 
I don't know. I may bring it back. Yeah. Let's see. So we got. I may be just trying to get us lull us into thinking they're not. In the shotgun Seahorn, got a bunch trip right. In motion the receiver out of the slot to the right, and they're going to give it to him on a sweep, and he cuts up off tackle and gets close to a first down. Look over there, Julie. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a little too excessive. He's trying to do the blind side. So that guy blocked 20 yards downfield. And it's third and two. But that's what's been going on tonight, folks, down there on the offensive line. Harmony is uh, pretty stout on the offensive line, and uh, we've had a tough time stopping at the line of scrimmage. Now the quarterback sweeps right, and he's going to get hit pretty good. He breaks a tackle and mm. gets the first down. So that will be first down Harmony. Now they're moving the ball methodically on the running game. They have went away from their passing game. Eating the clock three, with the lead. Three minutes, 41 seconds and counting left to go in the third. Harmony 14, Wascom 13. So now he's back under. No, he's going back to the shotgun. Got a receiver on each side, a slot running back on the right and a fullback on the left. And they move oh. on the left side. So we needed that. Yeah. They were really – we're sucking a little win here. Uh, the Wildcats are doing well on defense. Harmony's just a little bit better right now on this offensive push. But that will set them back five yards. Mm -hmm. First and 15 from the Wildcat 35. How much time we got left? Three minutes, 18 seconds on the clock. And it's 14-13, Harmony over the Wildcats. Seahorn in a shotgun, two receivers left. He's motion in the slot right. He goes out for a pass. He fakes the handoff and goes up the middle. And he's a good running back. Mm -hmm. well, he's back about to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. And I Almost. Bring up second down and 11. Just under three minutes now in the third quarter. That's uh, – Good discipline by the Wildcats, too. I'm sure um, Harmony gets a lot of folks following those those motions and misdirections and missing the eye on the quarterback. Got two receivers left. He's motioning his slot back to the left. They got trips going out left. And he throws, there's that pass we were talking about, Julie. There it is. And Seahorn to Seahorn, and he's going to be close it. to a first down. I think he's picking it up. Yeah, he's picked up a first down. Well, that was interesting because uh, I'll mark the ball at the 20-yard line. Two minutes, 26 seconds left to play now in the third. Yeah, I, that play is uh, going to work well, too, with the, the running game doing it as it is. And we got to get a stop, and they will kick it, so – they're about five yards out of field goal range. Quarterbacks is going to take it. Ooh, Ooh. that time somebody somebody came through there, and that he, was a big difference, wasn't it? Yeah, he, he ran right into a brick wall right there. And I'm not sure which one it was. Who did that? We want to know. I don't know who he ran into. Ask him in this so room fast. over there. Ask him who did that. I think it was – may have been um, – Nate, uh, no, it had, it had to be Trey Stevenson because he's right there in the m on that side. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give that stop to Trey Stevenson. Second down and nine. Got a receiver to the left, one to the right. I think the quarterback will think about it this time. They're motioning left with that receiver. He calls for the snap. No, he's still coming up off tackle. He wants that end zone, and he, he's carrying guys with him. Yep. So he, he is a tough runner, folks. He just got stopped immediately, and he came right back and ran it right up the Wildcats' throat. It's first and goal, Harmony. And this, um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Dillard Feed House, 210 West Travis, an exclusive Manor Pro dealer. Products for horses and poultry. Dillard, Lone Star, Mormons, along with the show right show beef for steers and swine, lambs and goats, all livestock.
stocks have performed their very best. Dillard Seed House says it's time now to prepare for your winter and spring garden. Suggest you can get a soil test, planting guide, best results for the varieties you plant. Dillard will always have fresh plants in season. That's Dillard Seed House, 210 West Travis, all your gardening needs. Back here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, Harmony is knocking on the door. 14 to 13, they're up. A minute and seven seconds left in the third quarter. It's going to be tough to keep them out of this end zone. Ball's on the five in the shotgun. Motion left. Seahorn gives it to his fullback. He's going to be stopped about the three. I think that was Tashawn. No, that was Nate. Yes, yeah, Nate Espy. That's Nate Espy. This is going to get interesting here, folks. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes peeled because both teams are really uh, manning up here. This is, a, this is a battle we were talking about at yeah. the beginning of the game. Second down and four. Got 30 seconds and counting on the clock to end the third quarter. Oh. Seahorn in the shotgun. Two receivers to the left. He's going to take it up the uh, off tackle, and he's going to spin in the yep. end zone. So that's a four-yard touchdown by number 16, Seahorn. Let's see if they go f they'll come out here and kick. We need to get a block. Did they bring something with them? Some kind of horn. Yeah, I'm yeah them horns. Horn. We don't like them train horns. <laughs> so here they come out to kick 20 to 13, number 12, Tittle, not Y-A Tittle. I wonder if he's related to Mr. Tittle. Could be. Could well, be. He's out here to Grand stretch son, the lead. Great the ball is down, and it is up, and he is successful. So we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Howell Norris Insurance Agency, your hometown agent located in downtown Wascom. Norris Agency has a complete line of home, auto, health insurance programs. Let Howell custom design your insurance, especially your homeowners. Norris Insurance represents the largest mobile home insurer in the business. From liability to full coverage on home, auto, farm buildings, call Howell at 903-687-3175. Knowledgeable, available, friendly. That's Norris Insurance Agency for all your insurance. All right, back here at Jimmy Ecock Stadium, folks. The time is going to be a factor. 21 to 13, Harmony goes. Well, they, they hadn't lost the lead here in the second half. Wildcats come close to tying it up. Now it would be interesting to see what they do here. Will they kick it deep? Well, if I was them, I wouldn't do that little crazy kick again. But, you know, I'm not them, so. Maybe their kicker can't kick it deep, so that's how they have to do it. No, he can kick it deep. He tried, you know, he was he kicked a 36-yarder, but it was to the left. Well, maybe he's good at kicking field goals. All right, but so they're I set to kick. I wouldn't mind if Leighton ran it all the way back in. Yeah, so we need another one of those. I bet Nate would try to do it, too. Don't kick mm -hmm. it to that right side, either. And they kick it deep. I told you to kick it deep. Tyler Davis is going to field it at the 6. He's at the 15, 20, 25, and he's going to get out to the 32. So the Wildcats come out here with decent position, I don't field position. So Wascom's going to come out, take it first and 10 from their own 32-yard line. We've got 10 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Need to score, and we need to keep our defense off the field for a little bit and let them get a little rest. Yes, especially the defensive um, linebackers. Caden's under center, two receivers to the right. They're going to take a little pause here, check out the what they want to do. Ten seconds left in the third. I'd like to score here in the third. Before we go to the fourth. Well, you'd be scoring quick because there's only 10 seconds. 
Caden under center. He's going to throw that screen pass. And we got the screen to Tyler Davis. Hang on to the ball. Yeah, and it's going to be a Dillard Freedhouse first down. Dillard Freedhouse first down. And for that's Tyler the end of the Davis. third quarter. And the end of the third quarter. So we're here at fourth quarter. So both teams scored. We just missed a point. What's your prediction here, Julie? My prediction? Yeah. I would like I'm to. I'm saying 22-21, game over. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we got 12 minutes left, so. Yeah, but it's been a battle. It has been a battle. But Slow moving, methodical. Quarter four now. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Quarter four, it hadn't started. Hadn't started. Still quarter three, technically. Switching ends of the field. So now Wasco will be going in the other direction. Ball on the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on Wascombe's 43-yard line. 12 we'll minutes. Start the fourth quarter. And someone's going to sleep undefeated tonight here from the Jimmy Eacock Stadium. Caden Edwards under center. Over left, two receivers. Motion right with a slot. We give it to Sean and keeps it. And we got oh, that pitch pitched. off. And then we got Cam at the 40, the 30. And they get good coverage, but that's the first wow. time we've seen our pitch work tonight. Yes, Dillard Feedhouse first down there for Cam. Yeah, so that's nice. That's a nice play. All the way down to around the 20. Let's see about the 22-yard line of yeah. Harmony. The Wildcats are getting set up here fast, too. We're over a left. Caden's looking for the call. Interesting. So I was in here just thinking of something that motion, no motion, gives it to Tashawn. And Tashawn broke loose. And, and there Tashawn he is. Tashawn is in. Tashawn's in for an 18-yard score. Uh-oh, wait, Julie. Maybe is it's a flag? celebration. Maybe it's a celebration or a fight or something. But I don't know. So There's it's a flag on the let's play. See let's, the see what's, stands. let's see what happens here. I don't know what it is. I think it's after the score. Now they're going to discuss it. And then, but, but, you know, this is very important. If it's not on the kickoff, I think it should be on the kickoff. But this past week, I saw that at a youth football game, and they did it on the extra point, which if it's for the extra point, that's going to be a big difference for the Wildcats because we need two points. Mm -hmm. So we'll, the referees look like they're going to discuss a little bit. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back and let you know what happened here. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Wascom ISD is a leader in academics, athletics, band, and FFA. Success is achieved by hard work and dedication. The Wascom ISD board and students are working hard to build on past success to achieve and have another successful year on the field, in the gym, and in the classroom. Wascom High School working to not only build a better community, but educate our children to be a success in the game of life. On to victory, maroon and white Wildcats of Wascom High. Back here, Jimmy Eacock Stadium. I went out to the field. Let's see if the referee's mic'd up. So like I said, touchdown. Unsportsmanlike. Oh, I think they might both be disqualified. So that's the first time I've seen it. I thought they'd get a warning. But, hey, th that's okay. I mean, you know, if you're going to put some discipline down, I know a lot of things have been happening across different venues, and they want to keep a control on the game. But it sounds like number two and number six got personal fouls. But the score stands. There's no penalty marked off for the extra point, and we are lining up for two, folks. So 21-19. 
I may have to redo a reprediction here, Julie. Mm. We're under uh, – oh, we're in tight. One, oh, we're in tight. We're one receiver out wide right. They are motioning right, and we're going to give it to Deshaun, and he is not going to get it. No. I think that took too long. Yeah. Yeah, there was – you had to get that off quick, and they, they did not, so – I think that, yeah, that definitely could have been rethought. But I think they were trying to do the similar play they scored on. But Harmony was keying on the, the run up the middle. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, all they were keying on. Yeah. You, you should have just booted out and passed that's it over here. That's what I'm thinking. They, they had that, you know, I, I would – everybody here thought you were doing that. So, yeah. kind of knew. Um, now that makes the score Harmony 21, Wascom 19. There's 11 minutes, 21 seconds left to play in the game. So we scored quick. That's something we, did score we haven't quick. been doing tonight. Score on the scoreboard. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the scoreboard. And if board. we can get the ball back. No, it's not. It's when we get the ball back. When we get the ball back. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Now, again, to see what kind of kick they're going to give us. Oh, it's we're kicking. Oh, yeah, that's y right. You're Dang. in La La Land. I am. Yeah. I'm wanting the ball come back, back now. To, come I'm back down the to ball earth back here, Julie. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Julie's wanting to know what they're going to kick. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not kicking at all. Not yet. Yeah. So we got to stop them. Yeah, we're going to stop them. And I think we're going to get us a, a fumble recovery yes. here in a few plays. I like that. Um, one thing I noticed with the Wildcats, they, they're getting more consistent in the air uh, than earlier in the season. Um, so that's good. The Wildcats are, are getting more diverse here as we get down to the end of the um, district play. But this is a very important game tonight for the Wildcats. Uh, they really want to come out of here on top. Mm. But it's just like everybody was uh, anticipating mm. Harmony um, and Wascombe. I wonder it's if Harmony practices game. receiving uh, on onside kicks a lot. I don't know. They Since only have four on the front. They got four on the front and we are going to onside kick it. And, oh, now he's going to run it. Look, Julie. And he's going to score. Same thing. Same thing. Yep. And they scored. And that's exactly that's ridiculous. what I just said. And I was thinking, don't do it, because if they do that a lot, they probably practice it a lot. Yeah. So, I, it's um, let me put this I up I understand here. we're down by two, so. No, 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 you don't kick that. You're down by two with a quarter left. You don't do that. So, that's a bad call. And it was bad. It was bad coverage. I mean, our guys wasn't even there. It looked just like what Harmony mm -hmm. did. We deserved that. Which it number was that? that did eight. That? Number eight scores. So, and I, and something too. I didn't go to the JV game, but these coaches saw that happen last night. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You didn't learn nothing from last night. Eleven to twelve. Twenty-seven to nineteen. And this kicker is successful. 28, 28 to 19. We'll be right back with some more Waskin Wildcat football. Killian Pharmacy in downtown Waskin Pharmacist Dr. Rosa Rivas and Walter Killian, locally owned and operated for over 40 years. A full service pharmacy with a drive through window, bilingual staff, insurance, and Medicaid accepted. Louisiana and VA prescriptions welcome. Your health is the main concern of Killian Pharmacy. You can call 903 687 2525. Next door to Rural Health Clinic for one stop health care, Killian Pharmacy. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. All right, back here at Jimmy Cox Stadium. Wascombe is down to the Harmony Eagles, 28 to 19. 11 minutes, 12 seconds left in the game. Who will come out victorious? The Wildcats were looking with some momentum, but Harmony took it right back there with a onside kick mm -hmm. straight into the end zone. So Wascombe did that in the first half. Now Harmony's done it in the second half. 
now we'll get to see what kind of kick they do, Kaylee. See, you were wanting to see this kick, mm -hmm. and you willed it. Oh you willed it into play. Number 12, Mr. Tittle lined up to kick. Wildcats set, and they're going to kick it deep. It's going to go to the right side to Cam Washington. He's going to field it at the 15. Cam's coming left. Now he's cutting up the middle. He's got a hole, Julie. He's got a hole. One guy to beat. Come on, Cam. Turn on the right. 40, 30. That's the best run. He looks like the Dallas Cowboy guy. And into the end zone. Cam. This thing is getting ridiculous. Cam Washington. Cam just turned what looked to be so bad into something so much you forgot about. <laughs> Cam Washington in for, did you see where he caught it? I said the 15. Kicked off return. Yeah, so the 15. My goodness. So that's uh, 85 is, yard, or yeah. 75 yards? Yeah, so 15 minus 100. You do the math. I don't know. What is it? 85. 85 yards, baby. Cam Washington. You would think we're on the NFL and we're trying to get some ratings. We're trying to get this Thursday night or Friday night football to go above the Thursday night Amazon thing. So the Wildcats and the Eagles, they're coming back, back-to-back -back scores on special teams, 28-25. Now, now, now they got they we need Chaney to do some da uh, datatician on this. What some do you do? Analysis. Yeah, we need to do analysis. You go for your one, that'll give you 26. You'd be down two. That's what you do for a field goal. So we're going for the one. There you go. We just did it. And here they come out to kick. Anthony Zunica is set for the Wildcats. Caden Edwards. That was a good looking run. And the kick is, oh, I thought it was blocked. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for having bad eyes in the successful Anthony Zuniga. Not nationally bad. Well, no, so it's so bad. 28 Harmony, 26 Wascom. 10 minutes, 57 seconds left to go now in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football. Enjoy an easier way to pay every day with the new Red River Credit Union Visa Platinum Rewards Credit Card. Make purchases easy and secure with your Visa Rewards Card and enjoy features such as contactless purchasing, enhanced fraud protection, Visa purchase alerts, and card swap. Earn rewards when you pay for almost everything in stores and online. One point for every dollar you spend. Points can be redeemed for merchandise or cash back. Apply at any local RRCU branch or online at rrfcu.com. Red River Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. What's in a name? Family, pride, love, attention to detail, and trust. At Signature Cleaning, our family takes care of your family just like you would. 100% satisfaction guarantee. You get what you pay for. Licensed and insured, commercial or residential, Signature offers free estimates and services for all of Harrison County. Call now at 903-754-5447. Signature Cleaning. We don't just leave our name, we leave our signature. Back here, Jimmy E. Cox Stadium. Cam Washington just took it 85 yards on a kick return. And what I liked about that, he was going left like most teams you see setting up edge. You know, uh, we inducted Chan Amy, and he has the uh, one of the best run backs in the state championship where he did that. But then Cam just turned it up the middle. And that's the first time I've really seen the speed. And he had to beat two guys. Yeah. Because uh, there were two people down here that could have got him two or three. But it was did interesting. It. I'd go back and see that. Zuniga kicks it. It's fielded at the 20. He's at the 25. Now he's at the 35. And he's tackled by Trey Stevenson, number 13, for Wascom. So, so Harmony will set up first and 10 from their 35 yard line. And we have our W up on our screen. Let me get this scoreboard fixed here on the. 10 minutes, 52 seconds left to play. Harmony 28, Wascom 26. Just a smash mouth football game. So got two at receivers. Jimmy Cox Stadium. Two receivers to the right. Seahorn's going to run off tackle. He gets a block, and that time we have. Uh, That's T. Good Brightman. Stop. Yeah, T. Gets him, and then the linebackers come in and help him or the safety. That's a big pile. Mm -hmm. Leighton Lester in there to help T. And Kelton Williams, number 15. They gave him a yard uh, forward progress, so second and nine. Seahorn's got his offense ready to go. Two receivers to the right. He's got that slot receiver on the left side. 
He takes the ball, and he's going to run it again on this right side, and he gets the edge. He's going to pick up the first down. The Wildcats were thinking pass there. They drop back and yeah. pass coverage. I think he probably gets to read. I, I think he probably gets to make that decision. Yeah. You know, he can pass it or run. He's well, a good runner yeah. for uh, Harmony. Ball now on the 45-yard line, first and 10, Harmony. We need to get a stop. We don't want to spend too much time out here. So here we go, first and 10, Harmony. Receiver to the right and one to the left. He's got that slot back. He's motioning the receiver, and then he's going to turn up, and he's going to run to the same side. And they got something going on this mm -hmm. side here. And I'm not sure um, – because when he comes there, there is there's nobody there, no defensive end, no linebacker. We must be back here in pass coverage mm -hmm. uh, position. Ball now on the 50, spring up second and five. I see what's going on right now. We just have uh, oh, we rotated. That's what it looks like. So T's out here on the on the left side. I see that. But see, he's in tight. Look right there. That's what the problem is. We need somebody out here on the end. They're motioning right the receiver, and he cuts up. Now they go back to that other side, and he's just turning it everywhere and picks up a first down. He's going to be picked up about seven. So uh, we only have three defensive linemen. And Harmony is just content with just running, picking up four or five, ten yards at a time. So ball now on the 44 of Wascom, first and ten, Harmony. Nine minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Harmony 28, Wascom 26. Got two receivers on that left side. He's got that big tight end on the right side, and he's got a slot back. They're coming around. Right, they motion left, they're coming right. No, he's going to pass it. There's that crazy pass, and we oh, were there this time. Yeah. Kelton Williams. Pass he was incomplete. That out. I'll stop the clock, bring up second down. I wonder what they call that play. But um, they do several things out of that motion. Deshaun Hamilton coming in for linebacker for Leighton Luster, number seven. So T's rotating to the left side. Now he's got um, Giovanni at nose guard, number 60. Ridge Raleigh defensive end on the right side. Motion right with that receiver coming across. And the quarterback's coming off this right side, and he cuts up. We, we get him that time. And he's lost his helmet. He'll have to go out for a play. It'll be interesting to see who their backup is. That was number 13, Trey Stevenson, on the stop. Bring up third down. Yeah, and the, and the quarterback, and unless they take a timeout, they may take a timeout. Or who do they send in? But yeah, they got a guy here coming. Number, what number is that, Julie? 11 or 14? 14. 14. So number 14 is Riley Patterson. He's going to be quarterback. I have a feeling he's going to run the ball or give it to one of these. He's got two backs on each side of him. Takes a snap and he gives it. Snap and he takes was kind of yeah. high. Yeah, snaps high. Oh, and it's taken away. T. Brightman's got it. T. Brightman, they better not have blown the whistle. T. They blew the whistle. Blew the whistle, but T. did take the ball away. Oh, that was reminiscent of his young days. Oh. T. Brightman, red tape. He took it mm -hmm. away. They blew the whistle a little too early. So now it brings up fourth down. Now – they're they're probably in go territory. They got a lot of different. It looks plays. like they're switching out. Looks like they may be bringing in the punt team. No, they uh, are going to punt it. They're not taking any chances here at the fifty or the forty-seven mm -hmm. of the of the uh, Wildcats. So Wildcats get a stand there. This is going to get more and more interesting here. Now the Wildcats offense have a chance. To Unless this is a trick play. Uh, and no, nope, it's not a trick. And he gets a good kick. Went let's out of see, bounds. Let's see if it went out of bounds in our favor. That guy's still walking. I don't think he's seen it. 15-yard line. So, 85 yards. Man, I wish that would have counted. Mm -hmm. T, that would have been nice. It would have been nice to see T run fast. Yeah. Seven minutes and 34 seconds. 
Seven minutes, 34 seconds. Harmony, 28. Wascom, 26. And Wascom has the ball back now. First and 10 from their own 15-yard line. So right now, Wascom's destiny is in their hand. Offense has the ball. Two receivers over here on the left side. Caden Edwards under center. Motion right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. Whoa, that, was, that was a pitch, and it, and it was a fumble. Yeah. I'm well. not sure I call that on the first play, but mm -hmm. that was uh, almost had a. So Wascom retained possession, but lost yards on that. Was that two yards or three yards? Three yards. Loss of three yards going to bring up. Well, two. They're saying two. I don't know. It's Looks a long like two. It's huh? a long two. Second and 12. I don't. I don't um, see two receivers to the left. Motion right, Cam Washington. They're trying to get five. Trying to get Harmony to jump off sides. Cadence back under center. He's going to give it to Tashawn. And he's maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Or the original line Real of scrimmage. Orig original line of scrimmage. Now the Wildcats um, not looking good there on first and second down. And now they're in a bad position here because it's six mm -hmm. minutes, 20 seconds. Clock's moving. 28-26. Yeah, we, we need a first down. Yeah, and if they don't get it, they're going to pretty much have to punt. So we got one down here, folks. One receiver out to the left now. Caden's under center. Motion right. He goes back to pass. He, oh, he gets hit. It's wobbly. He's got a guy. Oh, he stopped running. He stopped running. Man. Now we got a punt. It falls incomplete. So the quarterback did good to get that off. And then it was kind of wobbly. And it just went between his hands. And that would have been six. That would have been too good to be true. That was nice. So they get a quick three and out. Five minutes, 59 seconds left to play in the fourth. Again, Harmony 28, Wascom 26. Wascom set up to punt. Man. We need a really good punt right here. So Tyler Davis is back at the goal line. The snap is good. Oh, it was close to being blocked. He gets it off. It's a good kick. And it takes a wildcat bounce. It takes a real good wildcat bounce, and the guy's going to get away from it. It's at the 20. It's going to roll to about the 18. So that was good Excellent kick. punts, considering the position he was in there. Yeah, so that's uh, – what is that? That's an 80 – Julie, that's an 82-yard punt. Mm -hmm. That's an exceptional kick. How many yards do you think it bounced? Maybe 15? Yeah. Now, so Harmony's going to take over from their own 18-yard line. Five minutes, 46 seconds left to play. Harmony 28, Wascom 26. We, we st they stopped us three and out, but uh, we had a little bobble on the first one to kind of put us in a bad position. So now we need to get something going in our favor here on first down. Get them kind of behind the eight ball. They got a receiver out to the left, one to the right. Got that slot back on the left side, the fullback on his right side. Seahorn calls for the ball, and he gives it to the fullback. He's going to run left, pick up about four or five. So that's that's not bad. That's what I was hoping we would have done on first down. So they got themselves in a good position. Clock is rolling. And we can't let them run too much, get a couple of first downs, mm -hmm. and this game could be over. Mm -hmm. They're taking their time, too. They're using every bit of the clock now. They're just waiting. Kind of helps our defense because I think our defense is a little gassed. But we need to get the stop because the time is down to five minutes. 28, 26, Wildcats are behind. And the quarterback is going to take it up the middle, and he's going to get a first down. So there's the first first down. Man, we had a lot of opportunities, and now we're down to crunch time, 
We need a turnover. They're using that clock, 20 seconds on the play clock. Four minutes, 36 seconds, 13 seconds on the play clock. Receiver out to the right, one to the left. Looks like we were short a man. Seahorn takes it to the right. He's going to break some tackles. And now he's going to be out in the open. He's at the 40. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. And he's going to be down. Four minutes, 13 seconds left to play. So Harmony first down into Wildcat territory. That quarterback, he has uh, done a really good job tonight. He's put his team in a good position to end this game. Four minutes left. Ball on the Wildcat 36-yard line. There's, um, so they're just running the play clock down as much as they can. Receiver out, both sides motioning to the right. They're going to give it to the fullback going left, and he's going to break a tackle, and it's going to pick up about mm -hmm. six. I had a missed tackle. Could have got him in the backfield. Missed tackle. Did they blow? They, they're blowing the whistle. Blowing the whistle, saying it's down. Yeah. So we pulled the ball away. But I think that one was actually down because he was yeah. on the ground. He doesn't stop the clock either. Clock's almost to three minutes. Second down and five for Harmony. Wascombe's 31-yard line. So they got a receiver out to the left and the right. Got that slot on the left. They motion that receiver, and he's just going to run left. Be close to the first down. Third down and one. So we're going to start using our timeouts after this one so they get the first down and then there's not much um, time left and the way the Harmony's been moving the ball, we're going to need something to happen here for the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. Seager on the right, one on the left. They got the same, the same formation. They're going to just run. They got He's got two backs on him. Gets to the one going left. He's going to pick up the first down. That's 14 for the Harmony. And now we'll have to take our time, first time out. Two minutes, 11 seconds on the clock. Harmony, 28, Wascom 26. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Back here at Jimmy Eacock Stadium. Wildcats are down 28-26. Harmony has the ball first and 10. We have two timeouts. Two minutes, 11 seconds. The clock's just going to get moving. Seahorn calls for the ball, gives it to 14. And he's just going to barrel his way down the field there about seven yards. Bring up second and three. We're under two minutes now to play in the ball game. 23 seconds on the play clock, so get down to a minute and 20 seconds. Yeah, Harmony just controlling the clock, trying to wheedle it down. 
They're ahead 28 to 26. High snap, but Seahorn gets it. He's going to spin out of a tackle and, and get the first down. He so spun that's out of a tackle. Two people were on him, and he spun right out and got another first down. So that's first and goal, Harmony. Yeah, I think they can. They got enough to run the clock. We'll have two timeouts. We took one right there. So now Harmony just has to protect the football, and they have this game won. But they'll be undefeated along with Dangerfield. Wascom will go play Dangerfield next week. So it puts a lot more pressure on the Wildcats. Tonight they would have sealed a playoff berth, so losing mathematically they could not get in the playoffs. So we're in a timeout. We've got one timeout left, 28-26. It's been a defensive struggle, some mm -hmm. quick plays on special teams and harmony. It's done a couple of good plays on offense. Winning this game, the winner of this game will be uh, in line to go in first or second in the playoffs. Now, if we beat Dangerfield. It goes to tiebreakers. And, and, you know, I, I don't even know what those are this mm -hmm. season. But now, we, see, they're in the. We can still go into the playoffs in third or fourth. Yeah, so they're going to take the uh, victory formation. And just run this clock down. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we call it. So now they have a, a guy in the back protecting, in any case, the bobble, high snap, anything of that. Mm -hmm. They're not under center. I, I would think you'd have them under center if you're doing this and that safety guy, but. I guess they like to stick to their shotgun. Mm -hmm. Six, five, four on the clock, two, one. They'll probably take a timeout. They'll take a timeout. They <laughs> ran that off the clock. So 31 seconds left on the clock. They'll just take this timeout, come back, and we'll run it out. Yes, yeah, so the Wildcats will fall tonight. Uh, defeated in district, they'll go three and one. And Harmony will go five and zero. Oh. Or does Har does Harmony still have to play Dangerfield? I believe they do. They haven't yeah. played them yet. So they must we play them the week after it. us. Yeah, huh? we haven't played. So we play them next week in Dangerfield, and then probably the following week is Harmony Dangerfield. Okay. So still a lot of things could happen. Yeah. Twenty-eight, twenty-six here in Wascom. Harmony is uh, up over Wascom. We're going to need to come back and bounce back strong next week. Yeah, we've never been to Dangerfield uh, in the booth. So he's going to take a knee. And that'll run the clock out. Less less time on the game clock than there. Or it was two seconds different. Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds different. So we took, uh, we took our time out. Mm -hmm. And what down is it? Third? Was it? Is it going to give us a couple of seconds? I want to go over. So we have zero timeouts. Twenty-seven seconds. Twenty-five on the play clock. Here comes Harmony. In victory formation. And they're set. They snap the ball, and he'll take a <laughs> knee. And that's going to be the ball game, folks. So Harmony defeats Wascom, 28-26. There's a wrap-up of tonight's game. Three minutes and 29 seconds. 
Harmony a pass from Seahorn to Baker, 22 yards. Extra point successful by Tittle, 7-0. Harmony went up first. Wascom never got the lead in this game, but they came out three minutes, 20 seconds left in the first quarter. They ran back uh, onside kick attempt, 47 yards late in Lester. Anthony Zinica made the kick 7-7. Wascom tied it up. Harmony came back on a fourth down play and got a handoff and a throw back to the quarterback. Extra point was successful, 14-7. to seven. Uh, Went into halftime. Came back out, nine minutes and six seconds. A run by Tashawn Hamilton, two yards. The extra point was blocked. Um, the Wildcats did not tie it back up. It was 14-13 Harmony, and Harmony kept the lead all the way to the end. Three minutes, 17 seconds, or 17 seconds left in the third quarter. Uh, Seahorn on a four-yard run, 21 to 13 after the extra point was made. Then 11 minutes, 21 seconds in the fourth quarter, Deshaun Hamilton runs it in, 22 yards. And uh, we missed the extra two-point try, 21-19 Wascom. I mean, Harmony. Then 11 minutes, 12 seconds, Harmony came right back, and we tried to onside kick it, and they ran it back. 28 to 19 after the extra point kick by Harmony. 28 to 19, they went up. Then we came back. They kicked it down to uh, Cam Washington. He got it to 15. He ran back an 85-yard return, thinking it was setting up a comeback, but it didn't. The Wildcats were stopped 28-26 by the Harmony Eagles. And so the Wildcats go um, defeated tonight by Harmony. Julie, we'll be in Dangerfield next week. Mm -hmm. Join us. You can hear us on KMHT. Be back on 96.9 FM next week and of course on our uh youtube or should be uh, should be available on youtube live stream at wascom football live yeah so uh for michael and julie uh thank you for tuning in 103.9 kmht the sports beat of east texas for 